No front, no fake, and that's what you be doing. And in my hood, we call that studioing. Yo, 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 yo. We back with another episode of No Studio. Yeah, man, you see the hoodie, man. www.officialgeechigotti.com. Yeah, we here. With my co host in the building to the left. Craig, we in here for another one, man. It's about to be a movie. Hey, look, man, you know we got the fucking man in the building. Uh, man in the building. Y'all know on, what it man. is, man. It's lit up in here, man. Craig here, Mayor here. Man, what's going on with y'all, man? How was y'all? You know we ain't, we ain't hollered since we hollered, man. How was y'all weekend? How was y'all week so far? Man, weekend was great. It was great. You know what I'm saying? I got to chill with the fam. Yeah. Got to relax. So Most definitely. That was dope. Always good, man. Uh, these playoffs, man. Playoffs. We, we, we getting there with these playoffs, man. We definitely. I'm liking the way that uh, the Warriors looking. I didn't yeah. think that they was going to be able to pull it off, but I think Steph, he got to be in the top 10 greatest, man, if he pull this off. All right, but well, don't try to ride with my Warriors now. No, I, I no, always, no, 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 <laughs> no. That's no. the thing. I could take my heart out. No, no, no. Yeah. In sports, I could take my heart out. You're right. I, they California. Of course I want them. To, and they light skin. Most of the niggas yeah. on the team light skin. Exactly. All so of a yeah, sudden. So, yeah, I want them niggas to All win. of a sudden. <laughs> so now All of a sudden. it's like, oh, yeah, Steph, get that. Because I want him to be solidified. So, man. Celtics win, would you be talking like this? I don't think. No, you, you don't say the same thing. Uh, if the Celtics pull this off, you can't say the same thing. No, no, I'm saying. If the Celtics would have won the last game, would you have came here today? Talk, For sure. You know what I'm saying? No, no, because I said Celtics in six. So I would have said I would have stayed true to my original prediction. Mm. This on tape. So, so I, I can't run from that. That's on tape. So, so what's your new prediction? I think the Warriors finish it out. They're gonna finish it out in Boston. In six? They finish mm. it out six in Boston. It's about they, money. I me think it's seven. Personally, me fall. personally, I feel like this is a seven game series. Facts. I'm mad at that. Me too. Like I feel like the Boston Celtics, though they lost last game, they had uh, uh we had a horrible Steph Curry that game. That Terrible. was he no horrible. Games. Wiggins, amazing. Everybody else stepped up, did what they were supposed to do. I don't feel like we're going to get another game like that from Steph because all playoff, all series long, he's been on fire. But I do feel like now the Celtics understand, though, like, look, we got to stop these other cats because they can beat us without Steph. For sure. So now in game six, they might let Steph go off. Go but we're going to try to step up on Wiggins more. We on clay a little bit harder. You know what I mean? We, we, we hustling for the ball, and if we die on the hand of Steph Curry, then we fuck to. it. We you know what I'm saying? I think that's the game plan you got to understand on this one. Like, yo, because the Warriors is a complete team, and I think all series they've been, like, thinking that they wasn't. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They've they been like, you know what, uh, Curry going to beat us, man. But, yeah. no, you got to let Curry. They got the next man got, up mentality. They, they got next man up mentality. You got to stay on everybody else, man. So I feel like it's going to be a great game six in Boston. They're going to they gonna go out strong, but they're going to die in game seven by a blowout. <laughs> Okay. When they make it to Game Seven, the Warriors They're gonna, gonna be kill exhausted them. though. Yeah. This is three straight series, seven games for them. They young. Yeah. But, I mean, it's only so much you can do when you playing. Elite. They die in Game Seven. You playing the best of the best. 30, 40 point blowout. But still, game even seven. look at what, what for all the betters. I'm <laughs> telling you, if you got your money, I'm telling you, pick the fucking over, man. But what what what, what y'all said? They pick the over. What, what you even said? Period. When you look at it. The Warriors still have not had a complete game from two superstars. No, Steph that's a fact. Steph is still having real – I mean, not Steph. Clay having mediocre games. Yeah. yeah. Poole has been pedestrian. Andrew Wiggins is the one that's getting busy. Oh, but man, that's because Wiggins. they put so much defensive pressure on Steph. Yeah. Yeah. So now that that's happening – That's a fact. And he like, man, y'all forgot I was number one yeah. draft pick? I, thought, I, I, I really feel like the NBA have forgotten that. Oh, yeah, Because sure. people is acting shocked that Wiggins is doing this. Exactly. And I'm like, this is what he got drafted to do. <laughs> is that he facts? just ended up on a team like this where he's not the first or the second or even the third option really most times. But he's literally – he can start and be a star. He the anywhere. option when he need to be the option. But for some people you don't – you fold under that type of pressure if I'm the number one. If I'm number three, you're not expecting it. So this dub came out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting mm -hmm. me to put up a dub. Nobody expected me to get 16 rebounds. Oh, and I'm going to do it twice. They're not, they not looking for Wiggins, but now they do that. Clay open more, Steph open more. Exactly. They're going to finish them off, man. man. These young boys weren't ready. Good so in, fight. They'll be back. In Boston, Boston be back. In Boston, they done. They finishing it. Oh, shit. I think eight points. Oh, they finish All right, eight. so who you going to think be the leading scorer that game? Steph, I think he got to come back after Steph missing nine. Got to come back after missing nine. Hey, but at the same time, this game, what, this game six, right? Yep. You yeah. know what's one thing game that six I do clean. like about the uh, Warriors that, that I think is getting overshadowed too? He not getting no playing time, but he's real active on the bench. You see him, like, being vo boisterous, being, like, really uh, impactful on the sidelines. Man, Iguodala, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's that vet. Man, that vet that, that they got veteran leadership 
on that bench, man. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and before I before I continue, people in the chat, let's share the broadcast. Let's for make sure, sure y'all doing sure. that. Share, share, you know share, I mean? share the broadcast. You see y'all piling in here. I'm gonna do it myself as well. Y'all share that. Let the people know we live because we started a little later than we usually do. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all sharing that to let people know we are definitely here and we lit. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all uh, see the fake Clay Thompson, bro? Pull up. Uh, <laughs> hey, they banned him. About 10 minutes. They banned him. I don't think that's right. Yeah, that I don't think that's that right. Because cool. that's their fault. Yeah. I feel like that's y'all fault. And then to me, it's like, okay, he didn't do nothing like wrong. Like He didn't attack he nobody. Right he didn't through. do no bullshit to where it's like, hey, motherfucker, what you was doing. He tried to be funny. He made some little funny jokes for his YouTube. Like, hey, man, you you, you can't come to the, the next game or whatever. <laughs> Suspend you for yeah, a little. Yeah, you don't ban no game, fan. No, man, he's a good fan, obviously. But this is not his first time doing this. A Clay impression. His name is Big Dawes. He got Big Dawes TV. Shout out to him on YouTube. Shout out he Big got Dawes. eight million subscribers. Yeah. This dude, he's very well known. He did this before. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with your staff. Talk Facts. to your security. How y'all just let this? And I watched the video. He didn't do. He didn't say nothing other than look up at him. Oh, hey, how's it going? What's up? Walked in there, shot around for ten minutes. I don't like that because I feel like. Like you say, as your staff, you supposed to know who Clay Thompson is. That's the fact. Clay? It's then, Clay. It's just a white fuck. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, it's Clay. <laughs> exactly. That. He like 40 pounds heavier than Clay, <laughs> and he like four inches shorter. Yeah, we shorter. need to know what Clay, you need to know what Clay looked like when he comes to the building. It's the impersonators, man. The Dirk impersonator. We got him. We got the fake Dirk. They don't like, look they, like they, they don't. Don't. You don't think Perky don't look like Dirk? He the one that looked the closest to me. He damn near looked just Perky like the closest? Dirk. Perkyo, I don't know. Perk, and then when he talk, yeah, yeah that's, that's what, what that's what away. kills me. That's what gives him away. You know, you know, you know, whatever the fuck he talk you like. Him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I didn't. He told me to. He then what's he set me up? He told me to want to meet. And then, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to do it. You know, he, he still take pictures of me and he try to. Uh, Put the jacket. And I didn't want to. I, I don't want to mess up I, my I relationship dirt. with dirt over like. <laughs> All right, shut your bitch ass up, man. <laughs> Let six nine get you, man. You know what I'm saying that Dirk ain't fuck with you no more, oh. but I don't think he looked like him, man. I feel bad he did take advantage of that kid. Yeah, just scandalous. talking about that, about that story. But like to me, I think he looked at the most like when they first did that whole scam through the mall and they barely let you see yeah. him a little bit because the fake Drake looked nothing like Drake. No, not at all. Not at all. Fake Drake. I seen another fake Drake that looked realer than that one, <laughs> bro. I wish Cass was here. It was a video shoot some years ago. Bro, we was in L.A., but I want to say it was like O.T. Jenna's video. Somebody was shooting a video, bro. That's on the real. The nigga in this bitch, because I thought the nigga was Drake. I'm like, oh, cause I got Drake pulling up. You know what I'm saying? We in this motherfucker, then finally a nigga like, hey, wait, wait. Say fucking Drake up in this bitch. And the nigga, he, he even said it too. Like, nah, I ain't, but you know this. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, the bitches. Thinking he Drake, uh, though. Going crazy. Man, on him all night. And he got the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just doing enough just to keep it. <laughs> I ain't mad at him. Oh, bro. I ain't mad at and him. that nigga really looked at like Drake, man, on the real, bro. That was crazy. But the new little fake Drake, he don't really give me like, he yeah, don't look he like don't. Drake he to me. He looked terrible. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, come he on, like, man. He at first glance, he, he do old boy look like Clay, though. Yeah, yeah on Clay. First little. First glance, he give you a little Clay. Yeah. Because Clay got like a. He don't got, uh, so I ain't mad at the security when I think about it because Clay don't got like a distinctive, yeah. he yeah. just look like Clay. Like he just Clay yeah. like, uh, look at How 2K has start your player face before yeah, you exactly. start your face. Yeah, exactly, yeah, facts. Facts. exactly, facts. that's Clay, so you know. Everybody but, come out looking come on, the same. He got man. the preloaded face. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely got the preloaded face, man. But God at the damn. same time, it go back to what you said, though. It's still on the security. Yeah, yeah. However you want to cut it, it's not on him. Y'all yeah. got got. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got got not doing y'all job the way y'all was supposed to be doing yeah, it. Yeah, sure. definitely, man. Uh -huh. And just to, just to, you know, just a segue real quick, man, until you know what I'm saying, this weekend's festivities, oh, yeah. because we definitely know the playoffs is tomorrow going to continue. No, Thursday going to continue. You know yeah, what I'm which saying? Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. You feel me? So it's going to continue. But this Saturday is down to the playoffs and battle rap. Yeah, for sure. We Facts. down to the final four contestants before you get to that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's UM5. Yes. We already spoke about that. Man. You know what I'm saying? About those guys, man. Shout out Swamp. Shout out Fon. Shout out She. Shout out JC. Facts. But they also added a couple of battles to make that. the event a little longer, spice up the content a little bit. We got none, none, and O Red. Okay. We got stumbles and snake eyes. Yeah, they joint, put that man. together. That's they put that crazy. one together. I, I like that. face off too. They was kind of adding. Yeah, each other. I like, like that. Yes. I'm glad that 
like I know we like violence in the sport. You know what I mean? We people like to see people end up fighting and fucking each other up and all that. And you know what I'm saying? We get it. You know what I'm saying? And to the to the perfect world, we'd love to see them scrap it out on camera yeah. one last time, one on one. Best man win, but you know what? However they handled that off camera ain't our business. We just know on camera they decided to get the bag, get on stage and rap. And I'm and it's good that. to That's see dope. two men. I'm gonna respect that. Two I don't want to know if they together. had to fight behind glass on them, but just to know that they got they gonna rap about it, get their money, and nobody gotta die behind that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gotta keep this shit going, man. That that's what this sport is about. That's fine. You gotta respect that. Both of them get my respect on that because yeah, they both could have said no and kept it kept it exactly. up and stuck. You know what I'm saying? That's big of both of them. That's to be big able to of both of them. And- and make money and be off men. of this and be men and both just stand in each other's face. Man, y'all ain't got to be friends. Y'all can go on y'all separate ways Still afterwards, but we, we got, the, got them bag and we go on to the next one. Yeah. And y'all keep y'all career going and it is what it is. Because man. I guarantee whatever they got into it over wasn't even that deep. Come on. And it I know y'all got understand. more money for this battle yeah. than what y'all oh, was yeah, going to get. Yeah, that, that done pushed the bag up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So good thing they had that. So what we going to do as far as those predictions on the wild card? Because we do got your honor and Steams and Ryder and K Slade too. Oh, I forgot about those. I, I didn't forget about the uh, Kid Slade and Ryder, but damn, your honor and Yeah, Steams. Kid Slade. I said K Slade. <laughs> no, kid, yeah, rest yeah. in peace, K Slade. Yeah, but uh, yeah, peace. Kid Slade. Uh, damn, wait, I didn't forgot it. It was Steams and your honor. I like that battle yeah. actually for me. That, that came out of nowhere, but okay, we here for it. I give you my prediction on that battle now. Go. <laughs> I got your honor. Really? For Steams? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. I'm not going to lie. Your Honor with his inconsistency, that's the only thing about him. We haven't seen him in a while, but he definitely brings something new to battle rap, and I like what he Your brings, Honor brings. He brings moments. For sure. Hey, but I'm going to say this. When I he see, brings moments. When I see Your Honor outside them pearly gates, you know what I'm saying, waiting to get in the event, he look hungry. He look like, he like, like nah, yeah. like I'm supposed to walk straight through these doors. I feel that. Your Honor is definitely a hungry motherfucker. Shout out Your Honor. He definitely Facts. somebody that. When he on 10, he brings a level of excitement to battle rap. I feel like he definitely uh, has what it takes to be a star in this. I don't know what little hiccups he done had along the way that done derailed him. Hopefully he get back on track and this could do it. But for me, Steams is a veteran. You got Steamsley? I got Steamsley, man. Steams is a veteran that knows what this opportunity is. Fact. This is caffeine. Yeah. All eyes on you right now, Steams. You come on, we go hard. We've been you've been doing this shit for a long time, homie. Like you can really make a break and change your the as, you know what I mean aspect, aspect of, of your, your career life, of your life right now. And I feel like Steams understand that. I, I think Steams know that. I, I would, got Steams. I would say I'm going with Steams as well because I think that veteranship is what's gonna push him over. And with him, I think he gotta really know like. Chess was his little homie. Yeah, he was time, ushering yeah. Chess yeah. in, like grooming Chess. And for a minute, they was like a yeah, good one-two on, punch. Two, two and it's like Chess like, just yang took yang. off. Come on, come on. And I know Steams look at that like, man, I'm supposed to be right yeah, like, there I'm with not, Because you're definitely proud of Chess. Yeah, for you, sure, for sure. Fact, not no, envious, but I know I'm supposed to be I could be, be up on that same main stage, too. I'll be right there next to him catching these bodies in these bags, too. And I think after this... I can say I wouldn't. I can really wanna, understand that. I wouldn't want to see Steams no more. I'm not gonna lie. If he blow this opportunity, I'm, we can see you. Yeah. You would be the dude, the older boxer that we training the younger dudes on. Like, oh yeah, like he good. He a formidable opponent. You could go get some wreck for him. But yeah, like we will see if you ready for the big leagues. If you can stand up he, good against yeah, him. Yeah, go with him. Like, of, yeah, these is a lot of those battles that like for sure. that like make or break the opportunity cycle of where you at now. It's yeah, like yo, it's facts. Caffeine there, all the crowd there's no excuses. Come out and get do work. I think Steams understands that. Your honor always understands that. I feel like he's. Got more upside because he's younger in the game. Exactly. So he can kind of fall right here and probably still bounce back with another chance. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I feel like Steen's been on this on this trek for a minute. He's been putting some classics. He done had some bad ones. He done had some good ones. Like, this is the time to be like, You got to go. I, go. See, I see I see the hunger in that man's eyes, though, man. Yeah, you talking about Yana? I ain't being funny. I'm talking about I done sit next to the man smoke Newport with him. Yeah. Like, no, like, no funny yeah, shit. Like, yeah, I ain't mad like, at that. Like, that's, some shit is just yeah. is undeniable. You feel it. The Yana, the Yana, Yana, your man. You fuck with him like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah that's a, I ain't mad but at no, that because no, I fuck with Yana. But, but no, but, but Steen's my but, guy, too. No, no, yeah, but Steen's my, my guy, guy yeah. though. That's what I'm saying. Steen's that's what my I'm guy, saying. Too. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, so, yeah. I fuck with Steen. A little bit more. More than I fuck with Yana. But I just see the hunger, bro. He really gave you something that convinced you. Like, bro, I seen it like, like, like. 
He I seen something in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, like he dead serious. Y'all know whatever smiling. the fuck he seen in your eyes, you better bring that shit this weekend because the fucking mayor seen it. <laughs> and he stayed When he was outside smoking you. Newports with you, nigga. <laughs> if he go up here and fuck that up, nigga, you nigga, that's a problem. Like, you know what I'm fact. saying? For and real. And I damn near don't even think he smoked a Newports. He smoked like a different brand. Damn. Okay. First and foremost. So, yeah, you know he's Boy he out it. there smoking. He's smoking whatever is he available, fuck, man, goddamn it. He want, he want all the smoke. Fuck, he's smoking. He want all the smoke. But no, but, but, <laughs> all Milk jokes aside, though, <laughs> Buglers and shit. I just feel like this, just, just he hungry and, and his humbleness, like, he know his times that he fumbled the ball, he got to make up for so that. So, they both in the same position. Yeah, so who you think? Hey, yo, this nigga man really selling this shit. He got me ready to see this battle <laughs> right now because he got me thinking your honor is finna wild the fuck out. Yeah, like and you watched. might be right. What? Your honor might show the fuck out this weekend. I got steams. You got your honor. Yeah, I got, got steams. Uh-huh. Kid Slade versus Ryder. I got Ryder. Damn, wow. that was he clear. That I, got, I got shit. Nah, come on. You talking about coming too? out here with some he wild like, he, he must have been talking to everybody. Nah, he see something in Rod Eyes. Hey, look, it just not nah, that, that that that's silk right there. Okay, that's my boy Silk that, too. That, that's silk. You I, already I, know I, I fuck with Rod. That's my guy. Yeah, 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 that's my guy. For sure. And when he on, he know that. He like to name his gun. That's real talking. Ryder has put on some moments for the culture. Like, he done done some stuff like yeah. when, he, when he called him uh, Adele and this one say hello from the, that was some of the craziest the stuff I side. ever no, heard. No, got and then the when he did up there against Mike P, like, we, yeah. we not going to act like Ryder cannot get in there yeah. and rip your head off. Even when he was up in there against Shotgun Sugar. Yeah, just the recently, round, yeah, recently. That was a good was show. Nice, yeah. And already, I would go along with Ryder as well. I think. Kid, uh, Kid Slade, dope. Got From potential. that young class. Full potential oh, yeah, for sure. To be but crazy, to be he, a star. He got to be put on these stages and in front of these type of guys. Exactly. And this is a good person to test to see if you really ready for the big leagues against Ryder. Ryder, uh, I see what all the Goonies doing, and I think that they all on an upward trajectory. Yes. So I'm going to go with Ryder because I think that him and all his brothers, since they split up, they all been doing better. Mm. So I, I'm going to go with that. And so I how you calling this one? I think Ryder got this. So how you so call it? Ryder, Ryder. I'm going to go with Kid Slay. I knew he was going to be devil's advocate. <laughs> I'm going to go I with Kid Slay. And I know Ryder going to be upset because Ryder, that's my man 100 yeah. grand. That's my man 100 grand right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fucked with Ryder the long way. We got the we got one of the hottest records in the streets. You know what I'm saying? We going to ride and we got many more records to make. But you Facts. know what? Kid Slade, man. I think Kid Slade, you know what I'm saying? He got to come in there and show niggas, man, that the cloth different and all that, man. Come on. He got to get in there and talk a little bit. I think in this setting, he got to show his versatility as far as off the uh, I off feel the like trappers. in this setting, uh-huh. I feel like in this setting, you got to think of the card we talking about. UM5. It's a lot of eyes. We in Atlanta. We in the dirty south. We talking, man, that's the, that's the trap music. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kid Slade, talk that trap talk. Well, well you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, I don't disagree. You feel me? Kid Slade, that. talk that, man. He going to be in there. He going to be relating to them people. They going to fuck with him. That's a fact. Gonna get I that got crowd. That's a fact. He going to get that crowd. I got Kid Slade. But I'm not mad at y'all because Ryder might bomb and knock his head the fuck off. Hey, because Ryder lands a lot of big haymakers. He's yeah. a moment guy. Yeah. He lands big punches and haymakers. So if his moments is working... Yeah, it's it could be, be a long, long night for Kid Slay. Slay. But it's gonna, this is a battle that Kid Slay needs to, like you said, to get over that hump to prove that you can get into yep. these spaces with these type of battles. His last show wasn't so good. And the same with Ryder, battles. though. You got to show that you can, like, these dudes ain't on your level. Keep me with yeah. these niggas. Exactly, yep. exactly. I'm What's here for a reason. For a reason, you know what I'm saying? And then, so then we go to Old Red and none none, man. Oh, damn, That's man. That's a tough that's one. That's a good one. That's a tough one. Like for me, that's like heads or tails. I, I feel the same way. I ain't gonna even cap. Pause. I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, pause for sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I. <laughs> he said that was either heads or tails. Damn the way he said pause. And he pulled the mic away. He's like. <laughs> that, that was hilarious, bro. Oh, Damn. None, none. <laughs> oh, red. So if I had to if pick you had one. To, if you had to. Damn. That's a tough one. That's not easy, bro. Take none, your time none. with that. Oh, he didn't even take his time with that. I let the coin flip. You got none. I got none. Over the Transformer. Yeah. Oh, red. Yeah. Jersey. Facts. 
Mm. But none of them been cooking though. Yeah. And got cheated. I'm gonna say this live now. None of them should be in the final four, not she. Facts. That's what you saying. That's a fact. You think none of them would have got past true foe? No, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that one alone. You know, <laughs> no, no. it without answering it. Not like that, but come on, bro. You seen? Come on, like he had one of the dopest rebuttals of the whole fucking yeah. tournament, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was dope. Not none add none on to so what else he said. Live. But I'm hey, a sacrificial lamb, bro. If this is the sacrificial lamb. If this is the result of it, I'm glad that it happened that way. I think that battle was really close. I don't think it was a robbery. I think it was close. I think you split hairs. I think if you ask a different five people, you get a different. I got result. a question. You ask a different she five people, you get a different result. It's a battle I want to see though. So we yeah, got that. and we already seen none in JC. So yep. So yeah, and then none gets so red, which I think is a better battle on his resume. Which I know he wants the hundred K, but I think none. How I many times none. you seen the battle? Uh, which one? None versus uh twice. Oh well, I, well yeah. Twice well, is live and twice that's enough. But yeah. none in, or none in his bag is gonna be crazy. That's but, what I'm saying. But I feel like oh red back in his bag, understanding like a loss to none none right now. Yeah, you in the back of the bus yeah. red because right now we we getting back to that is levels again. So now you gotta let me show y'all his levels. B, what are y'all doing? I'm supposed to be on gnome anyway. Was Red, was that his first time on caffeine? In a minute. I think he been he ain't been on caffeine in a long time. Okay. Since like, yeah, because I can't yeah. remember the last time That's I seen I'm him saying. on caffeine. Yeah, when was his last um, caffeine yeah, battle? The joint probably was when he battled uh, JC. Exactly. Yeah. He battled, <laughs> yeah. battled Twerk. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> the first event? The very first one, Genesis. I don't believe him being on there after that. I don't remember him being on there after that. You know he did do good. And, against, and if he was on there, our bad. He did do good against JC, but I think that none none is hungrier. I think none none is on a war path right now. They said he lost right the now. danger zone, but was danger zone a caffeine event? I don't see y'all saying that. Yeah, that was on the app. Yeah, I don't so think yeah, that was. Yeah, JC, the, the Genesis was his last. I got yeah, I got none none. The hunger is. I feel like O'Reilly understands. That he gotta win this to get back in that in that level that he's supposed to be. You gotta get in the good graces. Come on, you need to. I gotta show smack and bees in them. I'm still O Red. Yeah. I'm still a transformer. But you can still throw me on Summer Madness if you want to. I still got some like matchups that left. make sense. I can still do this. Yeah. Hold on, don't give up on me yet, man. Don't throw me. <laughs> Come on, don't just have me on these app battles right now, man. I still got some star power. I feel that. But what if yeah, none none sitting there want to prove that y'all really gave me the short end of the stick? No, none none is coming home. Be like, yo, I gotta kill all red. Yeah. This is how I get to know. I beat all red. Give me Danny Myers or somebody on know. Exactly. Give me one of these motherfuckers on Gnome. I'll be ready in two more weeks. It's crazy how like there's all, a lot of storylines. I was this just shit. about to say yeah. all these wild card battles, they not coming out of from nowhere. Like on, we man. see that they all do have a backstory. They, yeah, they, they make sense. Person. They do make sense. Now it's the uh, well, who you got for that one, uh Gotti? Uh <sighs> Nick talked all that old red talk, still <laughs> can't pick. You got, got old red, man. Okay. I got old red. All right. Yeah, all, all right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I think I'm gonna go old red. Hey, you know what's took you so long? He wants to say nothing. I'm gonna go old red, man. I'm not mad at that. Because old red had me beating true foe, but he wasn't a judge. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out red. Nah, but none none had me win it too. None both of them niggas is gonna be dope fight. I think that's gonna be battle of the night. Really? Okay. Yeah, I got them I, as I, battle. I'm not mad at that. And then got red and that's none even none. over every the over tournament everything. battle suit. I think none none and okay. red finna shut the fucking building down in there. And we finna be talking about that battle for the rest of the year. It's gonna be crazy. Now we got stumbles. The rest of the fucking year. And snake eyes. None none and no red. That's the main event. I'm not even picking that battle, bro. I'm snake just, eyes. I, I, man. I'm just hoping for a great battle. Man. I got snake. snake eyes always wins promo. <laughs> yeah. Stumbles has been a whoop snake ass in that ring. <laughs> nah, but Stumbles got to get over the stumbling and choking. All jokes aside, Has snake to. don't choke, snake don't stumble. You get in there choking and the stumbling, and get snake, you finna die. You lost. Snake is yeah. coming in there fully prepared. Yeah. He got a lot to say to you. He finna be in your grip, finna be in your face. He yeah. aggressive. He finna talk his shit. Snake eyes gonna be 100 off paper alone and off past performances. I got snake eyes because uh -huh. stumbles have yet to Especially show. Especially that twerk performance. Stumbles has yet to show he can give us three, four rounds without fucking up. Yep. Now if he give us three, four rounds with the type of material that he has been able to get out, I think Stumbles can win this battle. He uh -huh. has good material. He's a fresh, original style of himself. 
He got that. I think he can he can get the win. But I would be doing a disservice to the culture if I chose him to win over gotcha. somebody that's always been on point gotcha. and be consistent and, on, and being consistent, and be consistent in the snake eyes. Who, who's gotcha. coming off a Cortez battle, coming twerk. off a twerk battle, Won the coming belt. off the winning the belt so against none none. none. He been having some good battles this all year. This nigga got a crazy year. He's been having some good battles this year, and man. He beat none none. I'm you not gonna I'm lie. Snake eyes been putting <laughs> in that work this year, man. I'm not gonna lie. I got snake eyes in my top five for champion of the year he is man i got him and it's gotta be snake eyes just put in some mad work and with this being a grudge match i'm hearing that the belt on the line the belt is on the line the belt is on the with line with an extra 2500 on the floor so, and, and snake okay. uh, when he does this i think this is going to now elevate him to another level like you saying what snake eyes has been doing this year it's not even that he's just been consistent his writing has been a lot better oh, yes when he went up in there against a, a prepared twerk that did not choke and didn't die Oh yeah, I'm like he here. He, and the cold part about it, I don't necessarily got him just losing like that. that. And I don't even think that was. I think that was a dope battle. Yeah. And you can even say it was debatable. It was I, debatable. I had Twerk taking it, but it wasn't like he just smoked him and he got well, him got out the question. building. You had Twerk taking it, right? Yeah. But the third round is what convinced you. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he just kind of like brought it home. Yeah. But yeah, I think I got Snake in that one, man. I think I got Snake clearly over uh, Stumbles I'm in this. Still not, I'm still not gonna pick. So you uh, you're uh, not taking nobody yeah, on this one at all. I hope you Stumbles do. Line on this. I can't say Stumbles line. Stumbles just finish your rounds, man. Prepare for him like you know. We can't keep hearing this from you either. No. Nah. Because now we see your potential, but you ain't been here enough. You ain't gave us enough good performances for you to get up there yeah, and keep bad messing up, bro. Yeah. So yeah, after a while, caffeine not gonna keep taking no chances on you. They don't give a damn about caffeine URL. You can do all this. You can you can keep showing up and have spurts and spurts. If you can't finish no race, we don't want to see you, bro. Get the not hell out of here. That line is long. It's a lot of people want to be here. But yeah, I got snake. Yeah, I'm bring it home, the, I'm man. I'm at the line, man. I like that, man. So yeah, that's our UM5 wild card predictions. We already did the swamp. We didn't ask you though. Who you got swamp finds? Real quick. Ooh. We did ours last show. So who you got? Swamp Farms. Swamp. Man, I'm going with the landlord. You going with the landlord? All right. The landlord. Who man. you got? J C Sheed. Come on, J C. J C. E F B. Y'all know what the <laughs> fuck going on. Think about that Let's one. get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's also talk about it. Keep it in the realm of battle rap, just for a second. This weekend, I had the pleasure of being at the Chrome 23 event. Shout out Remy Ma. Shout out Remy. New York Queens yes. Club yes. Amazura. Yes. You dig? It was a vibe in the building. Oh. Shout out Miss Hustle, Vixen, Fendi, Jada Ray. God damn it. E uh, uh, who involved. was it, man? Gaddis, Rum Nitty, Official, Av, like you said, man. Uh, Prestate. There was so many people on the card, man. Salute to all y'all that came out, man. Y'all did a good job. It was audio issues. You know what I'm saying? With some audio issues. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully next event, you know, they tap in with my guy, Avocado, ruin your day and get that fixed. They better you get know that what I'm work saying? Gotta get playing. that work. Get that work. <laughs> Besides the audio issues, I feel like it was still a good event as far as in the building. The vibe was good. That's dope. It was still a good vibe. I felt like Remy did everything she could as far as to accommodate all the battlers and had them had them good. They had dressing rooms. They had all the fly shit still set aside for them. Everybody looked at nice, was ready to rap. DJ in there playing music. They even had live performances in between the battles from oh, battle rappers. Fire. Ryder performed. Some other people performed. That's dope. And they played me and Nitty song. You feel me? A joint. Let, let, let us perform if we wanted to. That was dope. The day after was Summer Jam, and she took all the battlers to Summer Jam. Wow. Hey, Remy, man, shout out. That's yes. black excellence. She took right all the battlers here, to shout Summer Jam to backstage. On stage, all the shit. And you she dig what I'm saying? And paid them, brung them in there in, in style, sprinter vans, and all That's that. Dope, they man. got to meet some of their favorite artists and all that. So for me, I think she's doing above and beyond as a league owner than than, than, than the normal person does to try to like accommodate the battlers and That's make fire. them enjoy they they whole you know the whole weekend, not just she gave them experience. yeah she gave them a, 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 a dope experience, man. So she got my support. I want to see the I want to see the league grow, man. Like as a coach, I just feel like we 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 be pointing in the right direction to make it grow so For that sure. she don't have these hiccups because she's new to this shit and people are going to try to 
not see you win because it's competition at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of wants to be better than the next. But as a coach, point her in the right direction, make sure she's doing the right thing because she she's coming from a good place as far as I can right see. Place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And it's helping out the culture. The battlers is getting what they're looking for. The ladies are getting more money than they were normally getting. So, yeah, man, let's keep this shit going. Dope event. Uh, we can go down to winners or losers. I think people are – you know, can, then y'all didn't get to see as many of the battles anyway. Yeah. For me, it was to tough one. for like to call them too, as far as like, but for me, I had Av and official as like 2 1 either way. Of course, I had Av, but it was a close battle. They, they both were doing their thing, talking their shit. Uh, Prestavia and J2, same kind of way. I think J2 took that battle in okay. the building for most people. J2 had that. Uh, Rum Nitty 3 0 over Gaddis for the majority of the people Ooh, in the building. We knew that was coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> we had Hustle with the clear win over Vixen for the majority of people in the building. Everybody had Hustle walking away with that. And then, yeah, man, uh, 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 Jada Ray and Fendi had to take it outside, did a one rounder. Fendi got that to the majority. So, yeah, man, it was some dope yeah. battles, but that's how it went down at uh, Chrome back 23. To the streets, huh? Yeah, and, and I think was, Hustle and Vixen battle was out already on I YouTube. I did see that one. That's I, out did on get YouTube. A I, I got that. a chance to I, see that. That's out on YouTube. Who you had in that one? I had Hustle. Like, on cam, watching it, I had Hustle, but the way I was hearing it before I seen it, like, Hustle, like, just, like, beat her to death. Thought that really didn't happen for me. Yeah. Cause it's like, when I was hearing Vixen, she was Fiction, cooking. Vixen was getting yeah. busy. She was that was a good-ass some battle. Some of the craziest hustle flips yeah. I've heard. A good-ass battle. The problem is, I think, that that crowd, like a lot of people say they that, don't judge off the crowd. That hustle, I, I, I was Yeah, crazy. she said yeah. the uh, finger in her face, I'm not touching you. you. Like, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Even I Hustle like was that. saying some of the yeah, craziest some of some flips crazy flips you even heard. Flips, yeah. like, they really had a great battle. They I did. think I think it's just like you say, the audio issues kind of messed it up a for little us to, like, to kind of appreciate it. So now watching it back, you can hear it a little clearer, but that you're not getting to get the crowd as much as you wanted to because yeah. that kind of didn't get to come through through the audio. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's kind of so they was missing. They was missing some you know shit as well. Yeah, exactly. They can't they hear if you watch the battle, you can hear Vixen say, like, man, this echo was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had hustle though. I had hustle. Yeah, I had uh, hustle as well. The first hustle left Earth. Damn, that was like, her best round start, of that battle. She started I off a little slow, and she was kind of saying some stuff. I'm like, damn, like that was the best round from her was the first. The best round from Vixen was the third for me. Yeah, I think Vixen by that third, she was really like in her bag. That was yep. the, that was the Vixen people came to see. Yeah. The second they were they were fighting, I had hustle in that as well. But debatable, but yeah, good battle. But you good know, battle. like two of the top women in yeah. uh, female battle rap oh, yeah. that they put on the show. Oh like, yeah, it, it was still a good battle. They was up there. They was professional. They did what they needed. They did to. what they were needed to do, man. They did what they needed to do, man. Shout out Miss Hustle EFB. Shout out Vixen. We see you. We gonna somebody gonna smoke you again from the crew. You know that Hustle looking for Hitman or Rock or Surf. I've been seeing her. Okay. So and Vixen, she did. And, she and was, Vixen took she her shots at Surf. Yeah, me. But she been talking to Surf yeah, too. So you know, hopefully and you can get them man, matchups for them ladies, man. Get some fellas in there with them. Big respect, nigga. Surf has made it to Rolling Loud, man. Mm -hmm. man shout That's out to Surf, big man. Ups to surf, we do gotta get Surf. That, that shout out right there. Sue Surf, Rolling Loud, day three, the day that future headline is up oh, for me. That's the day the I want to be on if I'm anybody. Because you got crazy. Nicki Minaj, you got ASAP Rocky, salute to him. But you got future, you know, future finna yeah, bring them out. Got future Hendrix. Come on, man. <laughs> you up there with future in there, man. It's going down, man. You in there with all the street niggas and it's going up. Service lit. That's I mean, dope, it looks like a concert outside. Oh, it yeah, might be a Rolling Loud. And he got to start his set off like that. Yeah, that'd be so crazy. You got to start his set off <laughs> like that. That'd be so crazy. You got to start that off. Sir, if you don't do nothing else, start the set off with that bar right there. I just love how that's like you can it's really fire. see people from outside of battle rap paying attention yeah, to it. Yeah. And this is how you get these type of looks because they actually are involved. Yeah. They're hearing you. You never know who paying attention to you. That's big up for Sir, man. man. That's super culture, big, bro. I seen a lot of people saying they're going to be out there. I think it would be dope if, if people bought tickets. To go support that event, For sure. yes. like even no matter where you sitting at, just get you a ticket just to be in the building. So when he up there rapping, motherfuckers in that motherfucker giving it up, man. Yeah. They see the support of motherfuckers, man. Just in that joint going then, crazy, then it's man. Going to be in New That's York, how you go. Right? It's gonna be in New York. Well, I need Queens. to be out there. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. We might need to be out there, man. I think we is gonna be out there to be honest. We gotta, gotta go dude. support my dog too, and we gonna be out there supporting. You dig what I'm saying? But definitely, I'm I'm proud of him. 
uh, I'm pretty sure, man, uh, his whole camp is proud of him. The whole yes. Raw Bunch camp and everybody. Jersey stand up. That's stand big. It's up. in New York. You, you right down the street from Jersey. So I'm pretty sure he's going to have his whole hood in there standing behind him as well, man. But uh, we definitely supporting you over here at the No Studio and Camp. You know what I mean? Keep up the good work, boy. Yeah, that's uh, dope that everybody out there for surf, like you said, support. I want to know who support my nigga Michael B. Jordan right now, man. Because uh, I'm, I'm hearing... I'm hearing his girl already done dipped off. And she done jumped to the other side of the gate. Yeah. It's, she out here, it's rumored, man. It's rumored that she done jumped on the other side of the gate. Like that, man. She out here with Hot Boy Harlow, man. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, with Hot Boy Harlow? Hot Boy, Boy Jack Harlow. Harlow. Or Hot Boy, that's what they calling me. <laughs> that's what they calling me, man. He, he done made it, she done made him come outside. Oh, now, man. how do y'all feel about this situation? Do you think that it's too soon for Lori to be moving on to the next? I feel like she been moving on her whole career. <laughs> <laughs> Not, you know what I mean? Like, every time I turn around, she got a new dude. So, I mean, she, I feel like this is writing the Lori Ari playbook. Have she, you know been, have she been with anybody as long as she been with Michael B. Jordan? Not that I know of. Okay, so this is serious implications, damn near marriage. And it seemed like three hours after being with the nigga, she already done moved on. She was but just, that means she was already talking to Hot Boy. Hot Boy I don't Harlem. think so. Come on, three hours? I don't Come think on, so. Man. I don't but what think was so. it about Michael B. Jordan that she just? What is it that you don't want? Like you would think but that behind closed doors you don't know. Yeah, I don't. Know what I'm saying like, I, I, but we need. Doors, but since y'all, she was with him for a year and a half. So what? But y'all shit is in the public, so we need to know. Yeah, exactly. You need to come on no studio and tell us why the fuck you didn't marry Michael <laughs> most, B. Jordan. Most women would God love damn, to be uh, in that position. Killmonger, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The nigga, he's everywhere. Most women say that he's handsome, nigga, nice shape. He at the peak of his life. He probably taking over Black Hollywood. But what if he not wearing it out though? What if he ain't doing what he, he was? She do was there for a year house. and a half. So what? A year. He she doing enough. He got chips. She dealing She with got it. money. Okay. She like, I can't do this for the rest of my life, exactly. though. Exactly. No, the thing is, that coochie was just hot for another uh, another uh, fit. When you think about it, you can wear the same shoes all the time, bro, but it ain't nothing like putting your feet in a new pair of shoes. Uh, it ain't nothing like but, getting but, some new meat for her. But at the she, same time, it's really, in, in this world we live in, that's more of a guy thing than a No, guy that's thing. the problem. See, I'm glad you said that because we think that. We are delusional. We are the men of old. These you new niggas going to have to deal with women like that. You see what Young Miami out here doing? Dang. You see the F and F song? It's another little ratchet hit coming. I don't even know the name of it, but I already seen they outside getting ready. Mm -hmm. Booty shorts on, bottles, pregnant, weezy. That's called hoochie for y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> but that, the, the women is taking over this summer. Truth, they, the truth, women though. are taking over this summer. And Lori Harvey is the front runner. In fact. So he said she's just a front runner. She got some of Future's DNA. She had to. Oh, That's why she wow. got with the nigga. She okay, got with the yeah. nigga, and they've cloned her, and now we've created a monster. Oh, shit, man. I don't know. See, look. <laughs> yeah, you kind of I think the thing is this with her, man. She's just out here. Her father made the book, Think Like a Man. <laughs> oh, wow. She out here thinking she's thinking like a man, dog. She doing she her out thing. Here, you know what I mean? She out here trying to think like a man. She like, look, man, I ain't trying to be tied down. I'm still in my prime. Look, Mike, I'm, whoa, you moving too fast. If you would have never popped the question trying to do all this, I'd still be fucking with you. But now you getting too attached, bro, I'm gone. Let me go fuck with white boy, hot boy Harlow over here. Exactly. Do a little fun shit because he hot right now. He hanging with Drizzy. She trying to get to Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we see what's really going just on. Gotta climb the yeah, ladder. she got to climb the ladder. So she's like, let me jump over here with Harlow for a minute. I'm going to go to the next little wave and we she moving around. Yeah, she time. moving around. No telling where she like Carmen San Diego. Where in the world? We don't know where she going to end up next. You know what I'm saying? She having a lot of fun right on, now. Man. You know what I'm saying? We can't be mad at her. I'm for not that. mad at her. Have your fun. Do what you do. Not if enough. I'm Michael B. Jordan, though. I, I find me something too right now. I'm not in the bed laying down crying. Yeah. I, I hurry up, pop out with something hotter, hotter right now. Uh -huh. I let her see what I'm on. Dude, you yeah. Michael B. Jordan right now. He wait too long. Go in the house, put on your best suit. Man. What y'all consider uh, her? You need to be DMing bitches tonight. Which <laughs> He <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. He the, hey, big head. <laughs> you still up? Yeah, you know what I mean? Would y'all consider him being done wrong by her? Or do you think she just flipped the roles of what men norm normally do to women? I mean, I mean, he, I mean, it is kind of done wrong because he was invested in her like he was probably. You know what I'm saying? So, but would we be looking at this the same if he just left her like that? We would have been making uh, we would have been making excuses for him like, oh yeah, she a hoe. She the, probably cheated but, on him. She probably but, did but something foul. So, but but it's our turn because the women would. 
No, the women don't never just leave a, a good dude no, like that. No, this I, is I, rare I, that no, it no, happens no. like that. Saying, but we just assuming he's some good dude. We that's ain't trying what I'm to. Saying. So that's we ain't trying to. And this. we ain't saying you doing nothing bad. But we just saying maybe shit. You could have. I don't know. Maybe he got it. You know what I mean? A little sloppy toppy on a Sunday. <laughs> And you know what I mean? And she I'm like, saying, I'm out. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know. Exactly. You know but what, what I'm mean? saying, the women would act like he did something so wrong. We would have been defending him. But the women would have been like, oh, Michael no, B. He, Jordan, he, bro. He, he, please, he hey, man, you see it. this, man? Come on the show, man. We got you. We need to know what's up. We need to talk. This, at the, come to the black it's table. It's a safe place. You know what I'm saying? Jada Pickett got the ridge. We got the black table, man. <laughs> man come, come to the, to the black, black table, table and discuss this shit, man. Like, this is exactly. a safe place yeah, to talk to about it. We need to hear our brother. We need For to real, get him right. talk to him. Get That's him right, man. Come to the all black truth, table. All truth, no studio. Facts, man. I don't know, man. I, I feel yeah, we're bad gonna, for We're going to bring all our hurt niggas to the black table. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get y'all soul right. Yeah. Starting with Michael B. Start. No, you know what? Matter of fact, to get his heart right. I done heard my boy NLE out here getting everybody right. He offered Justin Bieber. You know, he got the little half face paralysis thing yeah, going on. Hey, shout out Justin Bieber. Shout out Justin Bieber. Get right. Man, prayers up to you. NLE said, hey, man, just give him my contact. I got what he need. Hey. And look. he got BBL pills. Listen, shout out my nigga <laughs> NLE Chopper, man. Hey, I'm, a, I'm, I'm riding with him and vouching That's with him a on fact. this one. I was sick, had the COVID some months back. He shot me all type of remedies. I was cured. I'm a believer. You know what I'm saying? I'm a believer in what NLE Chopper got going on. Everybody else thinking he bullshit. I think you need to go on and fuck with him, man. Like he, he might. Like, what's worse can happen? Try to, he might work on his face. Yeah, I take too much healthy stuff, then yeah, what happened to come me? come on. The thing is, you, what this is very reminiscent of to me, it sounds a lot like Dr. Sebi, man. Yeah. I think he reincarnated. I Come think he's back. He came back. And you know, Dr. Sebi, when he was running around with his peers, they're like, this nigga crazy. He's they trying to give us crazy. some goddamn ginger and some beet Come roots. On, man. <laughs> nigga, and some, and some it parents. just don't what sound right it? coming from him because he a young cat exactly. rapping like his image or whatnot. So like, nah, but you never know, man. He might be he on the He might got the remedy. If he do, let's say NLE, he got the magic potion. And then he got everything in pill form. <laughs> already, uh, I'm already about to try to order a BBL pill for wifey. I ain't gonna lie. We about to so test that. So he got a BBL pill. A BBL pill. I ain't heard about that he one. He said it grow the titties and grow the butt just like a BBL. Oh shit. Straight off the pills. Oh uh, yeah. Ordering them okay, right when I leave. Right, when get, okay now, leave. if for if it's so anything so. he can put the pill form that you can buy, what would it be? Mm. Something that make a uh, nigga wife be quiet. <laughs> Give him, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give him a give him a be quiet pill. A silencer. Nigga, a silencer. <laughs> it make him listen more and talk less. Like give me one of them, NLE. You do that. You got my fucking dollar tonight. Okay. What about you? Know you? What <laughs> it can do anything. Natural remedies. It can do anything to your body or anybody else's body. Quick weight loss. Mm, I like that. To lose some pain. I like that. I that. Quick weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get it fast and down. Slim fast. Slim super fast. Slimity, slimity, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, because I know all my brothers be lacking right here. Yeah. We're gonna say give him an inch with a pinch. He give you a little pinch. A pinch of this powder give you an inch for every pinch you use. Uh, inch of this pinch, yo. <laughs> Craig with the quotables week after week. Somebody got to stop this dude. He's a menace. You uh, know what I'm saying? With a pinch. You feel Change me? the world. Oh, shit, man. NLE, man. NLE. Hey, NLE. Hey, if you make that, you got to give me my credit. Just 10%. NLE, man. Just ten pinches, <laughs> Niggas, dick's going to be dragging <laughs> exactly. on the floor. Hell yeah. Motherfuckers going to keep pinching. <laughs> At that point, you know what I'm saying? Niggas might not do it. They girls going to be spiking their drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could use a little bit more. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me about three more pinches. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, shit, but, yeah, in yeah. that man, I, I do like what he doing. Just yeah. for real, like, he he really out here. He trying to – he changing his entire yeah, image. Yeah. He was out here a super gang member out here in the yeah, streets. Man. He out here Don't positivity. Do. He, like, Don't self-care. Yeah. He's Don't straight do. vegan now. Like, that, I, I like what that young man yeah. is doing nah, with himself, Real man. dope dude, Keep man. Keep that up, Keep bro. Keep going. We got, you got our support over here. He also went a little viral, though, for a, a tweet he put out on, on a pic saying – I nutted in you the first time I met you because I wanted to be with you forever with this lady. You know what I'm saying? And is that, that's what we doing out here, fellas? Is that how you know you want to be with them forever? If you go on and just drop it on that first one? Hell no, because that means we wanted to be with forever a long time ago. <laughs> Man, shit. 
We gonna be keeping it real. Oh, you been? Are you been dropping loads? Oh, man, you know how. We, man, come <laughs> oh, on. Come damn! On, man. That hey, shit hey, went hey, over hey, your hey, head. Hey, hey. <laughs> you missed that. It took but, you this, but this is what I'm saying, though. But this is what I'm saying. As young <laughs> teenagers. Damn, you a professional raw dog. Professional. <laughs> BB King. Oh, I, I might be a blues sh- singer. I didn't even know it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. L.I. the bearbacker. He done changed his damn mantra up here today. That's the excuse, man. But you know why I think that I always was scared to do that? Just out in the streets, not even for the diseases. Like, that that was second nature to me. But I was always scared to have the wrong baby mama, man. I have, my mom got four sisters. They were the bad baby mamas. I'm like, that can't be my life. If I had one of my aunties as a baby mama, Oh, hell yeah. no. So I just, a oh, good rule of thumb for me is like, if I can't see you being a mother of a child, I can't put my dick in you up. That, that sounds so See, hard. I think for me, it's like, if a man is going to lay, like sometimes yeah, a mistake is a mistake. You just got loaded, you did some bullshit, and you yeah. wake up. Nah. But to purposely know like you went in there with them intentions, then nah, you really wanted to be with this woman. Sure. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, with purposely, like, because you got yeah. that like you like the way he's saying it. Like I, I knew. Like that's why I did. Oh it yeah, well, yeah, that's understandable. You know what I'm saying like on some on some humbug shit, but on some you because you know when you purposely like you doing this like yeah, hey, like like what you think like what you think I should do like because like, we coming to that point like he he almost you know what I'm saying like is it I'm is ready? It, I'm ready. Are you ready? Like what are we doing? Like is this forever? This some bullshit? And then you know what I'm saying at that moment she got the option to be like. Or she can. Do you think you, know you can I mean? pull you tighter and it's like as a you like that's probably the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah, they do the little uh, you know, oh, yeah, 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 they tie you, you in know, there like, like you like, oh, like, I, I know what time, time, time it is, is now. See, I, I, at a grown as a grown man, like you know what I'm saying, for like from I'm gonna say from twenty all the way to the age I am yeah. now. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, nigga ain't doing none of that. But back then I was loking and stroking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even hold you. <laughs> you ready to get it any kind yeah. of way you can. Oh, that's why yeah, like we don't care, we outside. I was loking and stroking. Yeah, man, like that's how I'm feeling like you know what i'm saying like look man i'm a if you want it let me know you want it and i'm gonna give it to you you know what i'm saying then that's somebody you really gonna love and care for but like you say back in the day we was younger we was kids we kind of was just experimenting niggas just trying to have right. yeah. and just having fun doing some wild shit probably wasn't thinking but like you said as a grown man age i think people are more careful with who they for sure let it go you in. Got like, you. you know what i'm saying yeah. who they just let it go man in. you see me saying. nigga I, I i ain't start having kids to yeah. right now. That's smart, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, smart. Yeah, that's a fact. That's so right best, now. That's the yeah. best thing to do. That's you got to be really do. cautious. Yeah. And like you said, you know. Yeah. You at the age now to where you're like, I know what I'm doing. I'm yeah, getting yeah. into this fully aware and knowing the situation that's about to come from this. Exactly. Yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? Because that seemed like that's what mm. he said. I do, though. I do. You think you I can believe fall in love with somebody? Like that. I, 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 I like, feel like it, it could be at first sight, but also I just feel like I feel like you can meet somebody or like you, even if you knew them for a minute, but once y'all finally connected, I feel like you can have a connection the first time y'all connect. You know what I mean? Okay. Like the first time you met a person, it's like, damn, That's a fact. It's you a ain't real never connection. like seen nobody like, and probably never had a conversation, or just probably seen them walking by and come like, damn, I love her. Like, damn, I don't know. I, why. I don't believe in love at first sight. Now that nah, one was nah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about seeing somebody I ain't never met and like, saying no, that. But, saying but you say you like, never met her ever? Like you don't even know like, them? Like, like say you in the grocery store, yeah. you're you down, you down, all three with her. And then you see her, you just sitting there like, God damn. Fuck no. Uh, yeah, the ma- <laughs> that, that happened to the maid. <laughs> Hell no. I think I might love her. I ain't seen nobody in no grocery store and said I love them. Now yeah. I'm about to see somebody in the grocery store and be like, damn, that ass is fat. Fire. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to get her number or something. But to say I love her, I'm overly doing it at that point. Now, I don't see now if I knew her already, I'm saying. Say but I'm talking about like, like basically, like even like I'm saying, like after a conversation, you didn't talk to her. Okay, a conversation has been had. Yeah, okay. I still don't think you can say that. That's too But this nigga said just walking yeah, down. Yeah, he said, oh. She the heart's the coming up. Like, oh, damn, she picking baby. up the goddamn fruity pebbles. He like, oh, but damn, I believe I that's still happened before though. I feel it has you know. happened to somebody. Probably. I, I believe that not somebody, to multiple you. people. Has it happened to you? Before? No, he he said like he, he was speaking from experience. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I you know. Can say it, like, it's good. You see, you fell in love. With, okay. I, mean, I love her, and I ain't never talked to her. Never seen her again. Damn. damn. The only thing I, I, the I the only way I can say one. I felt that different. is with my this children. That's a fact. This like, very crazy. When, when I see my kids for the first time, I think I love them on first sight. That's the only people. I but can that's say love I at first like sight, still though. Yeah, yeah, but that's my kids. We already built like something. They've been in the stomach. I've been like listening to them. Like we, I've been feeling their energy and everything. But me, I feel like. 
like like I could like you could be in love with somebody over a conversation. Like y'all didn't have to yeah. to like be with each other. Probably, but yeah, like because yeah. I've been in love with people that I've just always I was talking to them. I'm telling them like I love you, and they telling me they back. We love each other. So that love builds yeah, over yeah. time, and then finally when y'all connect, it's like okay, now we in love because we done built it up. Yeah, exactly. now, I don't think I could, now I'm not saying the case because I do believe that too. Though I believe that it can happen. Like I'm a nigga that believe in that love at first sight. I just saying it never happened to me to just see somebody like. Like that instant moment, I just locked eyes with you. It was like, but but you fuck, know, you know what I'm saying? But for like, me, but I'm not saying it can't happen because yeah. I would love for that though. Yeah. Like imagine but that. But what if feeling. I was just in love with the aura? Just 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 like the thing. I is, feel like when I walk through the door, that's how I would want somebody to see me though. Yeah, yeah. I would want some woman to just be like mesmerized. Oh, yeah, like nigga, I would love with you. You just walk through the door, like that would be like some movie shit though. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like on the real. But my life like a movie. Oh shit! So women just falling in love. Yeah, that's crazy though. Walking if you really through think the about streets that. of Compton, just got bitches falling out and passing out. Oh shit, man! They said "li cold." <laughs> oh man, we see y'all in the chat. Let me ask y'all in the chat before we go to the next topics. Do y'all believe in love at first sight? Who in the fucking chat? Believe in love at first sight. Do y'all, yes or no? Let me get some of y'all answers in there too because we talking and we ain't really get to acknowledge a couple of y'all in there, man. So y'all might believe in it too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of y'all in here today. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what y'all saying. Let me see. Let me look real quick. I see a couple of people's in here right now. Somebody said, hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell no. I'm with you with the I hell wanna no. I want to smash first sight. Ain't no love. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hell, yep, just not the groceries though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Well, where at this? More like last at lust at first sight. Nah, these hoes ain't got no tradition. Hell to the no. You know how many coochies broken out here? I be getting hard at first sight. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers is crazy, man. Yeah, we God. might got the freakiest chat ever. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the horny episode. No, they said the, the mayor is talking facts. He's spitting facts right now. Come on, that nigga. Nothing easy said the mayor speaking facts. So you got one nigga with you at law. There's always one nigga in the world with you. There's always one nigga with you. You know what I'm saying? That nigga said hard at first sight. That is crazy. <laughs> hard at first sight was different. I don't even know why I keep repeating it. <laughs> That's a little too much for me to keep saying. My bad, y'all. I'm fucking up too. You know what I'm saying? Can you love a hideous woman at first sight? I think that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like, yeah. yeah is it, is love it? is not just That's look, a fact. Right? Yeah, but it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's aura. Yeah. It's aura. You know right. what I'm saying? And then I, I think and, that's a no. And at the same time, though, yeah, the, for sure it's a no. <laughs> okay. But at, the, but at the same time, though, it's like you could be in love with a person's aura. Like, uh, I'm saying, a person might not give you that aura. I feel you like energy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Can you it. love multiple women? Hell yeah. Hell Absolutely. Yeah. I hate when people say you can't. Okay. That like that's that raised up something in me because you gotta think about it. <laughs> I, Let's go, Craig. He always give us the passionate answers I, that the I, show be won't. I hate that because people would say you can't be in love with this woman and that yeah, woman. How do I love my mama, my grandma, my kids, my wife, my brother, my sister? I love everybody yeah, all at yeah, once. Yeah, you yeah. cannot put a limiter all on the love. amount of people that yeah. you can love. But that makes sense. Can you be in love? Absolutely. Hell, hell yes, love. yes, I, yes. I believe you can. I know. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. You you can be can. in love with multiple people. The, the problem is like the way that people are made, we are not made. I don't believe to just like be in locked and loaded with just one person, see you all the time, be around you all the time. Yeah. What I may even love the other person for, it, it may be, be something that you can't might even be different. give. Me. Yeah, it might be something different. That's a fact. So how is it the fact you saying I cannot you don't know what I'm capable of? Yeah. Yes, I'm absolutely capable yeah. of loving more than one person at yeah. once. And I think we should actually That's explore agreed. that more often. In this world. I do and I and I see a lot of agreement in here they said women just don't want you to <laughs> that's what it is they said shit what well, they say facts we see i can have multiple women but just want to do everything with you know what i'm saying they said no he said i can't have multiple women i just won't want to do everything with you know what i'm saying capable is deaf the right word it's capable yeah that was the right word yeah. We see a couple of y'all in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? They said Craig fell in love with them women that bought them drinks in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. They said Craig been on a spiritual journey lately. <laughs> it's lit in here, man. That nigga said, I love my girl and my home girl. Okay, Curb. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a man. Man, keep that home girl far away. <laughs> hope your girl don't see hey, that Curb. We hope your girl don't see that Curb. I know you been loving your that home girl. Said, I love my girl and my home girl. For sure, Curb. You keeping it real in that's just crazy though. to put them in the same yeah. sentence like that. Like, yeah. I love my girl and my home girl. <laughs> yeah, that's why when your girl come home, she like, yeah, you uh, loving who? They said, but okay, now this is something I want to talk about. They say love and picking a life partner is different to me. 
Do y'all agree with that? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. For sure. That's, yeah, that's not even hard. Yeah, that's not even a hard one. I like that one, man. I because like you don't even have to love the life partner to be 100% honest. Right. That person, we could just be compatible on everything that we're mm-hmm. doing. That's we a run fact. the house good. That's we can fact. run the family good. We run it literally mm-hmm. like yeah, a business. Yeah, yeah. Some people can be life partners and not be in love. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. That's deep. That is. Damn, but that's hey, crazy. But like, they can never say that you, out loud. But yeah. if you look, though, if you notice, like, it's a lot of people that don't be in love that's life partners. Yeah. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? From like I'm talking about from politicians. Yeah, yeah. To, but they but they work well together and even, it makes yeah. sense for them to stay together. Yeah, even exactly. our grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. They fall out of love after being together fifteen years. Right. They just together because it's a dynamic of the family. Yeah, they like, gotta hold the family yeah, together. Exactly. That's deep, man. I think the, Because I, I know think it's a lot like, of politicians yeah. and a lot of presidents and the yeah. like, like actors, actors. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot, lot of, of first like ladies that don't want to be first ladies. Yeah. You gotta keep the facade up. I gotta gotta do it. This is what I am. Yeah, arranged marriages. A lot of older people say that. You can have two life partners and be in love with both, is what Tone said. Shout you know out to what Tom. Saying? To we're going to hold talking. on to them We're going to keep marriages. y'all talking That's in this chat. Sure. We're going to be coming to yeah, y'all a lot, for sure. but for y'all answers up in here, man, we're going to keep these topics rolling, though, man, because somebody asked us to talk about this because now we're talking about age ranges and shit. I might be skipping down the line a little bit. We get back right on it, but you know what I'm saying? And I know this might jump past what we were supposed to do, but I got to talk about it now because somebody asked me to say it something It made sense, yep. Age ranges in these relationships. You know man. what I'm saying? Is it, is it like because we seen something in the in the news, man, with with the boy DJ Academics. You know what I'm saying? What you up to? You know what I'm saying? Boy. I know we had a different way to segue this, but I felt like it was time now just because of the, what I'm seeing in here. He, he a whole goofy. I seen you, Tig. I seen you ask it, so I'm bring it up. You know what I'm saying? He said if she 21, it's just like being 17. And if they got a college ID, he will fuck them. Like they, get the they can get the dick from him. Mm. He, whatever, I don't know how old this dude is, but he just basically mm. saying if he was 21 and up and they 17 and, and up, he down. Ack is 30 right now. I don't know if when this was released, but he clearly said that as if he knew that he's well above the age of these women. I actually agree with the sentiment of him saying like 17 and 21 is not too much of a difference. Yeah. If he's talking about just a person and an mm. individual. So yeah. I get that. Mm. And you actually, you absolutely have to think about this. A lot of people don't even think about this dynamic. If you're in high school, a lot of us are 18 when we're in high school. Yeah, yeah. If you date anybody under your grade, yeah, that's illegal. statutory rape. Yeah, it's illegal, yeah. So it's like that happens almost all the time. That's so it's it, he sound hella freaky and creepy. I'm not condoning what he said because that was really predatory the way he, he just said sound it. creepy. We got to be honest. The yeah, the way creepy. he said you know, it. It just sound creepy because... The word 17, homie. It just sounds like a kid still. Yeah, 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 exactly. We all know 18, you grown. 21, you grown, grown. Yeah. So if you like 30, I ain't, like, I ain't got nothing against you. You 30, you mess with a 21-year-old chick, that's on you. She grown. That's your thing. Y'all got y'all thing going. Some people be like, if you 30, you shouldn't be messing with them no younger than 25. But to me, you 21, 30, however y'all do, that's but on y'all. But at the end of the day, who's but the But once you say 17, that? though, I'm just saying, though, it just sound like, yo, man, my little 17-year-old chick. That just sound young. <laughs> yeah, it you know don't even yeah. sound right. You're not telling nobody she's 17 because you, you feel ashamed of the 17. You She's 17. Exactly. You gotta, she gotta call you that at nutrition. Sick. You, you know can't, what I'm saying? She can't even yeah. text you at, at, at one on, o'clock. Bro, she's still in like, class. Why you can't just wait till she's 18? Real big dog gonna be like, look, we can't fuck around right now. Hit me back when you 21. Hit me back when you 18 so and I whatever. Got a, so I got a question. So an uh, 11th grader can't date a 9th grader? 11th, you 17. 12th grader. Let's say 12th and 10th. No, we're going to say 11th because eventually. I see what you're saying. Eventually, it's going we're gonna to happen. We're going to turn into that if we're, we're still gonna, dating. Yeah, uh, we're going to make it where we both legal first. That's yeah. why I'm saying it so like that. So if we was already boyfriend and girlfriend matter. when I was 11th and you was in the 9th, and then I, then I graduate and shit like that, by now I done found me a little older bitch, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I dumped you. I'm graduating. Now, yo, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Can't fuck with you no more, man. Get you somebody your own size. I, <laughs> this is, damn. You know what I'm saying? You gonna break For her real, Hell yeah. But age of consent, it varies throughout uh, the United States. And that's does, even if we talk does. about third world countries. And a lot of people have arranged marriages to where people... The, the, the guys that give a certain amount of currency, whether that be stock, yeah. whether that be money, whether that be hides, Land, whatever the hell whatever. you give them. And you just so you can get somebody else's daughter at sometimes the age of 14, 15. 
And we have to understand in the 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 Latin culture, the Hispanic culture, quinceañeras that that ushers in a woman's adulthood yeah. at 15. Guys bar mitzvahs 12, 13. You're a man. So it's a lot of things that in other parts of the world you already considered grown, yeah. and you barely a teenager. But you even know like. Even in high school, like if we was in the ninth grade and then the ninth grade chick got with the twelfth grade dude, you like we kind of already was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Damn, yeah. nigga, she just fresh out of middle school, bro. <laughs> you you on your way out, like? What are you why doing? You, why you this ours? Yeah. Like, you trying to get the pretty little one that's in our age, grade. Uh-huh. Like, you, so we frowned upon it then because you know, like, okay, she be in the tenth next year, you gonna be gone. Now you gotta be pulling up, picking her up. It's like, and we already looked at those dudes like, damn, these niggas pulling yeah. up, picking the chicks up. Even though this was going on, we not gonna act yes. like. We didn't see that. It was a dope dudes probably picking these chicks up and shit like that. And it was going on. Some of them people, that's what their relationships. It is what it is. You know and what I'm saying? Some parents was cool with it. The and some parents was cool with it. However, they did it. And that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But we said, for me, I never, nah, like if I got a daughter and she's 17, nah, that's, you need to be dating a nigga that's 17 or nothing. You know what I mean? You need to be dating somebody your age, right? I wouldn't want my daughter 17 telling me her boyfriend is 21. I'm not going for it. I'm not doing it. So, to right, so your what, point. So, what if, all right, one, one, hold on. So, what if your daughter was 18 and then she said, well, my nigga, he's 16? I'd be like, damn, what the fuck you want this young punk for? You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you better, you know, now I'm going to be even looking at her stupid. Like, you want a nigga that got you two more fucking years You got to take care of. Yeah, you got to have a job. You still on, about to be man, in school. Little nigga still got P.E. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You take your fucking time. calculus in college, so, okay, man. Now they you know end up, okay, she go to college, she end up going to college. They end up basically going to the same college. We're going to say that. Uh-huh. So now, you know what I'm saying? She 22. He 20. Well, just wait. Would you do it? Uh-huh. If you were 21, would you date a woman that's 22? If I was 21? Hell no. Hell no. I wouldn't Me do neither. it. Fuck Not at all. Not if you, hell no. Uh, hell how no. do you feel about someone that's 40 dating somebody that's 20? 40 and 20? A 40 year old dating a 20 year old. That's a tough one. What? 40. 40 dating a 20 year old. I mean, shit. Like, we know that happens. Yeah, fact. We know that so, happens. So, yeah, how you, how you call that? How y'all feel one? about that? I mean, if I was 40. <laughs> you know hey, what I'm saying? I can't be mad at yeah, she was 21. <laughs> but he would do, tw- you would do you know 21 and 17. I would do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's still a teenager. You know what I'm saying? She got me 21 and I'm 40. Then we go. All right, grown, but when you, t- when you 20, she don't even exist. When you 22, she two years old. Yeah, I always thought that was weird, though. Being honest, like, <laughs> when I've seen chicks that had them old dudes like that, for me, I feel like when I'm talking about 40, though, I'm already be dealing with yeah, women that's around. Yeah, that's that a age. fact. But also having fun, you, 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 who you have from there, you want to fuck you a little 25 year older. Have your fun, OG. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you're doing. Uh, I'm cool. You know, if that's what you're doing, though, I'm saying. So you saying, think you in the house wrong? That's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't be mad at, at some nigga that, that's, that's grown and these women are grown. They can make their own decisions. Yeah, for I'm sure. talking about like a teenage mind. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Somebody that's still impressionable. Somebody that you can still kind of get over with and manipulate. And, and manipulate. These are grown women at this point. 25, 26. These dudes, 45, 50. They still, I mean, you know what I mean? Like they, they mature a lot faster. They know what they're doing at this age. They got the right to, it's not, and I, I'm not saying take the pussy, rape these, but I'm talking about these niggas fucking with them. They're in relationships And that's what they're doing And that's different But me, nah I wouldn't do 21, 17 But if I'm 40, 50 And the chick 29, 28, 27 And I just happen to crack her yeah. And she want to get cracked She <laughs> understands I'm buying her drinks At the bar <laughs> And she's coming back to the house And we got to consent That this is what we're doing This is what's going yeah. on You know what I'm saying going We're going to then. crack Yeah, nigga Like right now I'm in my 30s Bernie's older than me If Burgos want that what do you think I'm going to do? I like older women. Yeah, um, yeah if me and my wife don't work out, I'm 55 and up for me. Oh, uh, So you want a Jaguar. You got to be a senior citizen. We got to be able to go in Denny's and you get a discount. So you don't want a Cougar. You want a Jaguar. Hell yeah, I want some free pancakes too. Oh, okay. After I hit your cakes. <laughs> I'm about to wear you yeah. out and uh, we about to go eat. Y'all going to IHOP. After I'm you saying. take your medicine. Virgos, <laughs> man. I, I like older women. And she gonna have the days of the week medicine. For too. sure, yeah. Everyone, she got <laughs> ten pills in each day of the week. Hell yeah. yeah. I just think it's like once you think like that, then it's like you know what I mean. If, if the thought come in your mind, like, well, when I was twenty, she wasn't even born, then you shouldn't fuck with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you gotta think <laughs> like that, then don't even do it. You know what I'm saying? I just think that women, they're so young and impressionable. Even at that age, because we can't even say an age determines if you're grown or not. Yeah. The maturity level comes from life experience. experience. Right. Some people can be 14, been homeless since they was 10, and be have a way yeah. like stronger mentality, yeah. be able to carry themselves than somebody that's 25 that live with their parents that's their entire fact. daily life that's and never works. So I think that it's, it's, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. But that's why I stay away from... Uh, 
any type of young any woman. Any type of like, When yeah, I was yeah. out there, I never, my wife is the first young woman I've ever entertained, and yeah. I end up marrying her. And she only like a year and six months younger than me. Okay, yeah. Well, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But like, like you say, like being at this age and just uh, just seeking out younger women, nah, that's, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, like you said, though, I won't call those guys, though pedophiles and shit like that is what yeah. I'm saying like if you 30 something and the chick is in her early 20s and y'all consent and that I don't want people thinking that I'm cause there's some dudes out there in them type of relationship and them women are in love and they marrying them and they yeah. doing that and it's really what it is and what works it's, for you it's what works for you works for you but the 17 ain't fucking yeah. with that that's weird old shit to me yeah you know what I'm saying you barely can watch a radar movie with a nigga yeah <laughs> uh, Academics was on Joe Bo- Joe Button's podcast he said it's, he said it's, it's predator tendencies though it, I, I kinda I Cause you scoping her out, you red shirting her. Yeah, you know how it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, you gonna put it on the team. I can't play with you yet, but <laughs> hey, Tiger did no, I'm the saying, same I'm thing. I'm saying a nigga that met him when he met him, they was already twenty something. He forty. Oh, okay. He in the clubs, he's twenty four. Okay, yeah, oh, he, ain't been, he ain't been watching her. Yeah, no, that that's her. good game. Yeah, yeah that's now a nigga that's that. like, all right, you sixteen. I can't fuck with you yet now, <laughs> but uh, give me that, about two more years. That's you red shirt. Now that's yeah. the mother shit. Yeah, but Tiger wild. did that with Kylie. That's wild. He, he was saying he wasn't dating her for the longest. Tiger but then a lot of these women, Kylie. a lot of these girls, let's, let's keep it 100, they lie about the age too. They do too. I've seen the chicks who was 15, uh, 16, fact. telling niggas they 19, 20, yeah. their body fully developed. They can be out all night. Nigga don't know where, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they tricking these dudes who 21, that's a fact. thinking they the same age too. Nigga ain't doing no full background check. Yeah. Bitch ain't going to school, ain't doing nothing. She out all she night. Out she hanging with you. Smoking she in the club. She's in the club. She in, she's in the Everybody club. she hanging yeah. with grown as fuck. Body look grown and they tricking these dudes. So some of these dudes is in fucked up positions. Yeah. And yeah. them chicks need to be in jail for that shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. We do need to they, 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 you know, they God damn it, they need to make a new like, law. I got something to tell you. They need to you know make a new law called impersonating an adult. For yeah, real, need to be a new law that, and sound official. We got because we gonna say the real shit that they don't want to say. That, yeah. that happens in real life. That do for real. This for motherfuckers real. that be doing shit That's like that. Fact. Motherfuckers done got hit like that in real life. Then sat there, girl, fifteen, nigga, see twenty one body, titties, ass, hair done, nice nails done. She in the streets like you say, been in the streets a long time, so she getting money. She probably driving a fucking car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no problem. We didn't see it. Driving whips. Doing all type of shit that everybody else grown is fucking doing everything. Nigga ain't got no nigga potty living with her older sister or anything where they ain't got no, no mama. Parental guidance. No parental guidance. So motherfuckers going over there grown and is looking grown and a nigga believing them. Some motherfuckers might know, some motherfuckers don't. And really believe in what it is and then they get played. So them motherfuckers is just as wrong. Them Niggas like really got cases like that. And then That's you get put fact. in them That's papers for real. You yeah. can't shoot. You on the that. internet for the rest of your life. Yeah. With a that red nigga said I got a few him. cousins that used to do that. They all hoes now. I believe you. You know what I'm saying? They was hoes then, my boy. You. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nigga, that's what shit they was, my boy. Kosher, but yeah, man, like, that's fucked up. So, yeah, all that needs to change, man. You know what I'm saying? On both ends. Academics a whole creep. The chicks that's 17. <laughs> the chicks that's 17 hey. and trying to act like they 21 to fuck with niggas. They like creeps, that. too. They creeps, too. You know what I'm saying? That's real. It, it is crazy though because I just gained a ton of respect for him, like being on the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah. The one thing I can respect about academics, and I couldn't stand the nigga for the longest. And I'm like, man, if I ever get the opportunity to put my hands on him, yeah. like I'm going, oh, I'm just going to let this nigga have it. Yeah. I don't know why I was so mad at him, but yeah. I think that was because I felt like he always would argue with women. He would always pick on people that he felt like was lesser than. He got this bigger platform so he can just point at you and scrutinize you, but he's grown a lot over yeah. the years. And the way that he was calling Joe Button out for a lot of his stuff. And okay. I think that we need people like that in our like life. That. Like, Joe Button would answer questions. He's like, come on, Joe. You know that you did them wrong. Like, we're not going to lie. You okay. did. You treated them wrong. They would massage your back. They would make sure you had your, the purple Skittles up in your, uh, your bowl in your dressing room. And you left and you didn't talk to nobody. You filed for that in his face. Mm-hmm. And that's big because a lot of us don't have that in our circle. But I think that we actually do the opposite. And this happened on the Joe Budden podcast and they had Ian Dunlop. He says, most black people don't like being black enough to work with other blacks. Yeah. How do y'all think that that sounds? First off, just that statement. Black people don't like being black enough to work with other blacks. blacks. I feel like to, damn, a certain a, to a certain extent because it's like Motherfuckers like working with black motherfuckers, but then at the same time, black motherfuckers too. Like, we got to know how we are as a people a lot of times. 
a motherfucker is is is, is always looking for the for the for the homie love. Yeah, or, 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 or a lot of get you, lazy. They no treat lie, you the certain son. way. You know what I'm Not saying? All, but son. It's easier for a motherfucker to nah, come on, my brother. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Come on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel me and get that type they of. They want a shortcut. You get the shortcut out of a motherfucker, and then you feel like you're dealing with another race. Like yo, this strict business. That's just the for business. Sure. That's how the business. Everything is business, and we getting it done. And there's no in between of we trying to it's gonna smoke with same. me before the show and. And then like, well, nigga, we just hit the blood, nigga. Yeah. How you want? How you trying to ask for your whole check? You smoked an ounce of weed with me. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, when we say the they, do we partake in the they? Yes. Are we the they as well? Yes. yes. Do you patronize your homeboys' businesses fully, or do you go oh, in there and shit. ask them for the discount? Do you go in there and say, oh yeah, uh, you know, let me, oh yeah, let me hit that, man. You know, the nigga sell weed. That's how he make money. Or are you like, yeah, I'll get you back next time? No, like, we do that. We do, we do that. Come I on. mean, I, like, we got to just be honest. Motherfuckers do that, man. Like, yeah. That's how they do it. Just, it is what it is. Motherfuckers, we, we, we grew up on that system of. Exactly. I got we, you. We, you was, know what I'm saying? We like, was conditioned we, on that system. Like, if we, we came up on the. Man, I ain't got no money, but like, nigga, I'll kill a nigga for you. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that was my that's what so you can like, yeah, offer. Do, yeah, I can offer you something. Yeah. Like, bro, I mean, you know, I ain't got the dough right now, but nigga, what you need? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, what, man, I held you down the other day, or nigga, I lied like, for exactly. you. Exactly. Like, yeah. It's like with the school, you remember how we grew up? Like, it's like, you gotta we, remember. we got so much history exactly. with each other that we always got something to hold over a motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because so, growing up, you know what I'm saying? That's why people usually don't like to hire their friends or yeah. hire their family. It's hard to work. Because it's hard to work because you got Because it want a favor. You want a favor. If you got to remember, at one point in time, as a young dude, you'd kill a dude over a 420 bag of weed. Yeah, that's Just easy because you was out there and reckless and wild. And that was all you had. Like yeah. you said, and I feel like if you're taking my livelihood from me, it's a problem. Exactly. But uh, have you ever bought anything from a designer store? Who, me? Yeah. You ever bought, like, Gucci or you went Louis Vuitton, anything like yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you've never thought to ask them for a discount? Oh, I have. You've tried Acts to get a discount me. from Louis Acts Vuitton? Ask about me. Yeah, I forgot who I was talking Acts to. Ask about yeah, me. Yeah, I, I do. Yes. I actually believe you would have yes. done that. <laughs> if anybody would say it's that, I think you would. I can get it for eight. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Haggling in the yeah. Louis store. Come on. I don't care. But, uh, shit, so, nigga, I know I'd have been in that motherfucker buying shit, nigga, and I'd be feeling like that, too. And they give you that punk-ass water and shit. Exactly. Like, we done spent all this dough. You giving us the water? Like, fuck out of here. Giving niggas some guys. Give a fucking free shirt or something this bitch or the So uh, if, if it was a black company that had the same thing but not the illustrious name that follows the Louis Vuitton, the Prada, the Christian Dior, the Ferragamo, the, the list goes on. Would you still go in there with that same mentality? If it's a, it's a, it's one of your boys. It's one of your homies. Yeah. He started a clothing store. He like, all right, man, my jeans three hundred, my tees one fifty, my hoodies five. Me, I'm a buy something. That's me personally, fact, me, I, I'm a buy something. Fact. Like you know, what I'm saying, if I like the shit, I'm a buy probably buy the shit for real. If I don't like it, I'm a steal. All right, let me get the shirt, the yeah. little shirt. You know what I'm saying? But if it's dope, then it's like, all right, let me get the shirt, boom, boom. I'm a really rock it. You know what I'm saying? Like now, if motherfucker just got some weak ass shit, and I can't. You know what I mean? Nigga ain't just overpriced it, heavy as hell. Like, I'm a buy some shit, shit, but I ain't finna be acting like this where I be pulling up every week yeah. buying this shit, bro. It don't look good to me. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something that's actually dope and nice, it's like, nah, I don't mind it's supporting it. and buying it again. You know what I'm saying? I think that that is something that we do need to embrace our people on because that's my a fact. boy, he had a shop and I just pulled up, didn't even ask what the price was or nothing. And he wasn't even there. But I tell like the, the person working here, like, I know my boy, like, I'm going to get some shorts. Like, ring him up. Regular basketball shorts, I think they was like stitched with the name of his store. Mm -hmm. They're like $110. Didn't think twice. Yeah, All right, because I'm here yeah. to support regardless. Exactly. I would just drop off should. a hundred. As we show, should. Like, I support that this is what yeah. you got As going on. But we can say we would do that. But I know we all know in our circle, it's that somebody that. that hates the fact that you're doing as good as you're doing mm -hmm. right now, and yeah. they call yourself a friend. Mm -hmm. What do we think that that mentality comes from? Man, that, uh, that, that selfishness. Selfishness, for real. Selfishness, bro. I hate that shit, man. Selfishness. As far as selfishness, like I could be selfish to just want myself to to thrive and be great, but why does that have anything to do with hating on your success? Because a lot of people, it's not them. People always put themselves in Some like a position envious. of. People always put themselves though in a position of, I was there. You know what I'm saying? I so, feel that. So so it's like no matter what, like people don't people don't realize like 
life be going on so fast, like you really wasn't there. Like it was so much shit that happened <laughs> yeah. that you that missed. You, that yeah, you, you missed. was that like you there, missed. But you was yeah, there I right went there. like this. I did a gang of other shit in between <laughs> that got me right here. But yeah, you was there at like one of them times a long time ago. I remember yeah. we did sit in the car and we talked about me doing. I this came to your remember, first show. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I had a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like that you missed, that you didn't go to, right? But people always put themselves in there. Like man, I was day one. I was there. I ain't missed nothing, man. You already know, nigga. I would have been. Nigga, I was the first one supporting that shit. Nigga, I got the... And All was, your CDs. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. becomes that and people feel entitled from just small things that they may have did a long time ago. Like you said, just going to a show. You may have went to one show that that, that was that was 10 years ago. And you but, feel like you went to the first show, but you ain't realize, man, nigga, I had 10 shows since then where we done... Cars done broke down where we didn't have to pay. Exactly. To get in. We didn't have to do this. We didn't have to do that. We didn't think one time to call your phone to get no and help towards this. Anyway, kind of free merch we didn't been gave. Yeah. That you didn't wore and tore and it ain't hot no more. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You done watched it. And then a lot of people get yeah. on too, though. A lot yeah. of people get on yeah. because it don't look like the dream is going to come true, too. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Back on they try shit. to jump back on when it's later. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think, especially in like careers like rapping yeah. and shit like that. Acting and everything acting like, and shit like that. that. You will see your partner doing it for so long. You're like, man, that nigga never ain't going to make it. But he hard, though. But he ain't going to never get to where he's going. That nigga, he nice, though. It's my boy. But and then got, all of a sudden, like, boom. Nigga, he got another one of them shows. That's them same shows he be doing. I ain't pulling up. Yeah. He drop another one of them CDs. That's them same music. He been dropping. I ain't pull, I ain't buying that shit, man. I ain't, I'm, I don't even listen because I listen yeah. to Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, I don't even fuck with your shit. Is and it? then like you say, boom, it pops up, and now it's booming and it's lit, and then now everybody back like nigga. I, I don't knew know it. What the fuck it was. I actually I feel that like when you ever have a local event, every caffeine event should have been filled up with every nigga you know. Yeah. That's a Especially fact. if they know the way that you can move with an entourage, like you could just come in, like everybody could just come in. It's mm -hmm. no building, that's no event at Caffeine that you were at that you should not have had 25 plus people. Niggas is 15, 20 minutes up the street from here. Yeah. And I'm like, even me, and that's when like me from the outside in, because I know we just now building a rapport yeah, with each other. Up, We've been up. knowing each other for a couple of years now, but I even felt obligated. Like I got to be there if it's local. Like yeah, you up. need that type of support yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. even when the majority of us is not doing it, when you got that one person that's just there in your corner that's just helping you fight, that could be the thing that just push you over that exactly. threshold. Exactly. Just like my one nigga still believe in me, bro. Yeah, believe in like me. I'm still about to go just because of that. And I think that's why Drake got the like chubs. Yeah. That's always with him everywhere, always he, with go. Him. everywhere he go. It's like, why is that? Because you know that there. they got a special relationship. Yeah. That man probably believed in Drake when Drake didn't believe yeah, in Drake. Exactly. You got those type of partners. That be there from day one that, that just stick through it all, man. You know what I'm saying? And those be the ones that you push all the way through the wall. But I think those be the ones that's when you kind of, you don't really yeah. pay attention to the ones who don't and try to come on later. Exactly. Like, nah, I know who, who they can count on. You know that. Like, I think everybody knows that within they, whatever they doing, not just rapping, they working and pushing and doing whatever. They know like, nah, this motherfucker always, even if they don't talk every day, like if I hit them, they still show that same love. For sure. They never, Switched stuff. They always been right there. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I did pull up, anytime I did call, it was love. So I think and that's the, the part that people forget. Like, sometimes it don't be about pulling up and being there. It just be about just being that same person the exactly. whole time. Exactly. And not changing. And not changing. Or even just a hitting you up. Like, oh, yeah, congrats on the battle. Like, exactly. I seen you I'm win. Proud I, of I, you. I Yeah, like, that I'm, was dope. People don't know. Uh, I'm proud of you. I go so far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Letting you know, I see you. I'm yeah. proud. I might not can't be there. I got these kids. Yep. Yep. I'm working. Yep. I'm doing this, but I'm proud of you. Yep. And I ain't talking about the text. I'm talking about that personal call. For sure. You call at least once a week. Yeah. Like I see you, boy. I'm proud of you, man. You know I'm out here doing whatever I'm doing, but you, ain't lying. you get what I'm saying. You know one of the craziest things that touched me and one of my boys. This this dude played football the entirety of his life, bro. Pop Warner, and he even made it to college. I forgot what college he went to, but he played the whole four years. And he actually decided he was all footballed out from the age of six to 24. He like, bro, I'm done. And I'm like, you giving up right now? He was like, I am. He was like, I played too much football. I just want to have a regular life, bro. I've had enough of it. I don't even want to go to that next level. But he said, I want to thank you because when we was out there playing football and I would always go to that practice, you will always ask me, like, oh, how's doing out there, man? Y'all winning? Like, what y'all record looking like? Like, how the arm doing? He said, bro, you motivated me. 
yeah. to keep going. Like yeah. when you and I was like, I there was just regular conversation, me looking yeah. out for my boy. Exactly. But you never know, like you said, that I'm proud of you, bro. Like yeah. keep going, something, keep something pushing. Simple. You yeah. don't know what that do for the next yeah, man. So real. simple. Well, that literally was putting up. the battery in his back. Yeah. He said, I kept going and went to college something because so you used simple. to tell me that. My fuckers be ready to give up, man. Yeah. Dope, man. Be ready to give up, man. And and and, and something like that to keep them going, most definitely, man. For real, for real, man. We do. I think it's about that time, man. We got something special for them. Oh man. yeah, yeah, we got something yeah. special there, yes. man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do every now and then around this time. We get the time to refresh. Get y'all because we done fed y'all so much. We done talked about UN5. Digest. We done talked about Chrome 23. Surf. We done talked about Surf Rolling Loud. We done talked about NLE. NLE Chopper and all oh, the good shit academics. he got going. Academics. <laughs> Joe Buttons. We done gave y'all a lot. So we're going to give a brief intermission. Yeah. You know what I mean? Five to ten minutes. We're going to show y'all a clip of episode one of the making of a Lumagati album. A Lumagati will be dropping August. First week of August, uh -oh. we will definitely, yeah, uh -oh. we will definitely had a, uh, have, have every more details. A single dropping with Peasy will be dropping real soon. Yes. So, yeah, man, y'all just watch this making up for the intermission. Tune in, comment while, while this is going on, and we be right back right after this back. break. Yo, 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 we back. Now, that right there was episode one, the makings of Aluma Gotti. We're going to have a few episodes, and then we're going to put it out all together as one big documentary. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned for that, man. We definitely got more of those coming. And y'all seen that, the feature from Surf. So for y'all that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. see that, that? That's right on time. <laughs> surf on rolling loud, Michael, <laughs> bring me out. You know what I'm saying? Surf is the deal. Let's do that. Salute to my brother on that. Definitely appreciate him being a part of the album. Jay Nari, Jay Wavy, Big Trey, everybody a part of the album, this man. Dope. And we and all the other features yeah, that I named. Out Rain on that beat as well. Work, you know what I mean? Like, that's dope, man. I know y'all uh, been asking. Like I say, man, August, man, that's when we drop it, man. It's confirmed. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just know it's coming real soon. Uh, off of that, you know what I'm saying? Definitely off of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we definitely... You know, gonna get an award for that album, man. Maybe a Grammy or something. For sure. Beach got to. Award or something. Got to. Sure. But one award we won't be getting, it's gonna be the studio <laughs> award. Now who that go to? Because that award is reserved this week. Okay. For another person from Compton. Damn. Mm. The game, man. Uh. God damn. Game think I'm just don't like him or something because I keep giving the goddamn award by luck. Game, I fuck with you. He got to stop but with you this got nonsense, to, But you get man. the studio on award this week, bro. You get the studio on award this week for your comments on an interview where you said you turned down a six, seven million dollar tour to become legend status on 2K. <laughs> Because why the fuck you couldn't put the game on the tour bus and become legend status and get the seven? Is it, come on, come on, game on. Pay a nigga to play for you while you <laughs> game. Stop, man. And I hear what you're saying. Yeah, sometimes it's bigger than the money. It's just a peace of mind. You want you can play the game, game. anytime, like, come on, like man. you said, tour bus. You, you said seven million dollars. Come tour. on, man. Like, they gonna we have know you got some M's in your bank account. We not taking that away. But we talking about this is what you do. This is what you love. We talking seven. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you getting paid to yeah. show. You know what I'm saying? But a $7 million tour right That's now sound pretty crazy. empty to me. Yeah, right after the pandemic, they got to re-up. The way gas costs them right now, that you got to get some extra dough. Come on, man. And to play 2K at that? Dang, we starting to think you just lied just because you woke up this morning, bro. Come on. That's what the culture is saying, bro. On, and we don't want to think like that about you. You know what I'm saying? We thinking that you just lied just to lie like you become, like, if a nigga lying, they say, oh, nigga gaming. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is saying that now. Motherfuckers is like, oh, that nigga gaming. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. We don't want that shit to become he that, man. Bow -wow, huh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, game, man. Stop doing that, bro. Because you making it seem like we picking on you. Come on, bro. I think he want it. Uh, he might have heard he got but it the I, but first I have time. Heard, he but I have heard. Yeah. I, I, to give him his credit, I have heard a game is nice as fucking 2K and Madden. Especially if you turn it down for 7 million. Yeah. You got to be. You got to be. I yeah. have heard he nice in them games. Like, on some of the ranking. And if you look in the, the online rankings, he one of the top motherfuckers. I seen him get straight by the Madden God, though. <laughs> Who that? No, that, if you look on YouTube. Oh, it's, it's a, a nigga named the Madden God. It's a nigga named Madden God. He talk big shit. Yeah. He scraped game. Scraped him. Talking the game crazy. Oh, me. yeah. Game can't see me in that shit either. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I give it up in Madden. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You nigga. know how I give it up. Hey, we're going to we gonna have to set something up, yeah, man. We might have to give us we're gonna, Yeah, we're going to have to set it up. Come we're going to have to do that. All I'm right. I'm tired of niggas talking. That, hey, Who you on. play with? Come on, man. 
Cowboys. Okay. Yeah, All right. Good. Don't, 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 don't oh. play with them girls. Oh. This nigga play with the Green Gay Packers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they ain't That's got greatest. nobody now. Oh, don't worry about it. We still they got, got nobody now. They ain't got, got nobody. They ain't got, got nobody. As long as we got it. But they I can play on anybody. random. That's how good I am on man. We usually do that, too. I we just hit the random button. I can play anybody. Whoever you get, you playing with them. I can make anybody great. I can make any. That's what I'm saying. I can make anybody great. I can make anybody great. Anybody great. I think we we see the makers of the grudge match right now. Everybody know them rankings matter, though. I don't give a how good you is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Them rankings matter. For sure. They do. No, they rankings do matter. If you go in there with Jacksonville and the nigga at Green Bay, yeah, you might spank you. Yeah, you getting up there going against Lamar Jackson. You're going to have to really be good. Yeah, you, and, and you out there with one of them teams that just can't, 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 buy, a, can't buy a touchdown. Come on. It's over with. Dropping you know what everything. Mm -hmm. But like you say, each team got somebody, though. Like, like if you know how to play, you can turn like if you can play with the right players. So you can play to your strength. You can play to your strength. That's what you're supposed to do. That's that's real man. Yeah, it's, it's good. Game. It's good players that's on about every. Stick game. Yeah, it's yep. about stick game at that point. Yeah, because you have a team that. with no offense, but they defense good, and you yeah. get, getting a lot of pick sixes. Come on, man. Yeah. Are you putting red. yourself in good field position to make field goals, or maybe? Because I tell you, like, even though I'm not a cowgirl fan, <laughs> you give me. You give me Zeke. <laughs> you give me. You give me. You give me Zeke though. I'm I'm almost on top of on top of on man because my run game is unstoppable. So once That's I get a, once say. I get a Zeke, once I get one of the motherfuckers who just oh yeah. man, it's over with. But I can't be fucked with. Or you with. know who the code is though? You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, get, don't give me Camara. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't give boy. me McCaffrey. No, Derrick Henry breaks. Don't give me Henry. Don't yeah. give me none of them. Yeah. No, I talk about on first contact. Fast. You're not getting me. I promise you. I don't, I don't care it. if you tackle him with Michael Parsons. But that's real life. I don't care if you're not getting him on the first tackle with Bosa. Come on, none of that. First contact, Oof. he running him <laughs> over. Do that. And he, wrong. And he going. Come on, man. No cap. You need at least three dudes. Come on, man. In the backfield. That's like real life. It's hard to get him for a loss. Yeah. Who y'all play with 2K? 2K? 2K is like. Mm. Uh, it depends because I like dropping buckets with hard and I can't be stopped. Yeah. Anywhere James Harden at, I'm dropping 50. That's just me. But that's a good squad, though, too, though. Yeah. But I'm yeah. Just saying, no matter where he was at, though, I'm dropping 50 like, with him. He always been with a decent squad, yeah. though, yeah. Harden like, ain't course, never been But I'm hot dogging with Harden. I'm, 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 I'm a Laker <laughs> fan, so I'm playing with the Lakers for sure, just off time. But I'm going to tell you another nigga that's a sleeper on there as we talk in video games real quick. Game, you get the no studio on the wall. Let's make sure we don't get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got that because you motherfucking studio about that tour, right? But I'm playing with Paul George on that joint. No, Paul George. Paul George crazy. is one of really? the guys on 2K. Damn. Hey, no Paul who, George can give any nigga buckets. Hey, no, who, anybody. Know who else, though? Luca. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Luca. I see why no, they'll be able to do on that. On 2K, he cold. I see why they do that. Yeah. I haven't even played. In but years. you can't stop Giannis if you're being honest. No, you know they, that's the cheat code. Yeah, if you're being honest, like, like he, he want to just drop forty on anybody. He pick Giannis on he and jump and bro. nobody stopping him. Giannis is like that's like you know if you somebody got the bucks, you know you're in for a long night. Yeah, Giannis yeah, because get it's all like, the rebounds. Say if he all try the to triple team him, and then he throw it down to Middleton. That's buckets all yeah, day. That's a three. He pass it out to Middleton. Yeah. No man, like, that's why. Lie. That's the only reason why they lost. Honestly, to Boston because he didn't have Middleton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I and I and I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. When you drive with Giannis in that game and you barely get to the he dunking it. Yeah, I'm talking about he basically dunked from the free throw. Yeah. They're gonna let him dunk on you. Yeah, I don't care who you is. You are gonna be playing the game talking about they cheating. Yeah. That's a fact. Like, I seen somebody say Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard is another cheat yeah. code in there. You know what he I'm saying? He need to move from Portland. You feel me? And like we said, he need man, to go to Lakers. So we like we said, man. Shout out, shout out, shout out to all the gamers out there. We are gonna try to bring some gaming to the network as well, so y'all can have some fun with us. Maybe we can join in, set up a play. League some or of the fans or we something. We thinking about doing Smack a league. Shout out my cousin Wickle. He wanted to do a whole man league. We put some fans in there. We do some big shit. We might try to bring that together. You know what I'm saying? Game, you get that award. If you did do that, you crazy anyway. Take the money. But shout out to Game because he was also good friends with this brother that we want to speak on next. You know what I'm saying? And rest in peace, rest his soul, Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. But this weekend, and game might be there, you know, like you say, man, because he definitely was good friends with Nip. The Marathon Collective, man, the store will be this Saturday grand opening, man. How you feeling about that? Man? That's dope, That's I think, man. You know, just keep Hustle name out there in a positive light because I That's see some fire. people try to swing some negative stuff and I'm really not jacking that at all like that's really a legend to us and they come few and far in between out here in Cali yeah. especially in music they never try to give us our just do yep. so you know everybody go out there and support that man whatever y'all can do yes. for his family yes. hopefully the proceeds I'm pretty sure they're gonna go to his family for his children 
but let's keep this man a name alive in a positive light and, and go run it up. Go make yeah. sure they run yes. out of everything yes. that's in that damn store. Yeah, that's a fact. Yes. Man. I think that'll be dope. I think that's something we should do. You know what I'm saying? Even if we go, go down yeah, there, yeah, yeah, as a group, I think that'll be down dope. There, just, you know, show some love to everything he got going. Keep the legacy alive. Keep the all money in name alive. Let's keep this marathon yeah. going. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, Nip, he's still he's still living and breathing through the spirit of the people. Yes, yes, you know yes, what I'm yes saying? sir. For, for all the stuff he left out remember, here. Remember, we people, went to his first saying? store. Yeah. Bought the Crenshaw hoodie, gave him CDs. Yeah. And this one, we were selling out the trunk. Yeah, we were selling out the trunk, nigga. Yeah. We was going everywhere, just nigga dropping, jumping out in hoods, nigga, with CDs, nigga, you know what I'm saying? With nothing but one with one strap on us and, and CDs, That's like nigga, fact. it is what it is. We go up there, you know what I'm saying, in the six O's, man, boom, go up in that motherfucker, Black Sam in that motherfucker, yeah. actually. Yeah. You know what I'm Black saying? Black Sam like, was hey, in man, man, Hey, look. I don't know what I mean? Hey, we got these CDs right here, cuz Geechee Gotti, the mayor. Yeah, I know they had to respect you know it, though. What I'm saying? And we gonna get us how much these got. Damn, a hundred. Yeah, they was, you know they was, they was like, a hundred back then. On the hood. But we support it. We support it. hundred for these Chris songs. <laughs> All right, cuz here, man. Yeah. We'll make sure Nip blessing it is too, though, cuz we bought it. Man, I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? All right, for sure, cuz boom, homies in there, they thug it in there. We gone. Lady Black, we have to bang on some nigga to get the bang on us. <laughs> All of that to get this off. Here we yeah, are. Lady yeah. Black was six. Okay, for sure. Boop, boop. Here go the CD. We gone about our business, man. Like, nigga respected it. It was business, though. It wasn't like they was in there on no bullshit. Nah, that, it, it was, was not like, at respectable. all. Like, where y'all from, homie, type shit. Like, they seen our grind, too. Yeah, exactly. So, it wasn't even in so like that, yeah, that's that was respect. respect. That was respect. That's like that respect that y'all said that just yeah. come with it and respect we keep yeah. it on Nip name. Like, and after a while, they, they, they finally taking this. Uh, the the person that shot Nip to to court now mm, they they, mm. they getting into that case they getting into the nitty gritty of it they Man. said that he played guilty to murder but Man. they arguing the fact of passion ah. they they saying that That's he's a, 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 it's not they saying that it's not premeditated murder that the defense is not going with that but how was this this is my thing though it's like that's and they sound stupid. And that's why I say it's premeditated because you had the altercation with the man. You left. And come back. And, and meaning you wasn't gone for two minutes. Like you was gone at least a good 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Before you, or, or at least 15 minutes before you came back. So you thought about what you was finna do. Yeah. You thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go get this gun. Got it. You got to cock it back. You got to load it. You got to put one in the head. So you thought about this. And then me personally, like we know, we all come from that cloth of the street, so we ain't doing no snitching, we ain't doing no telling. We, we we live by the, 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 the street justice. We'd rather see a motherfucker get theirs in the streets than let the laws yeah. handle it. But just being in this case particular, this shit is all over the news. It's on camera. It's cut and dry. It's kind of like at this point, like you will be slapping all the niggas that you done gave time in the face without no evidence. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like we got homies that's doing lights and all this with no nothing, and you done banged them over the head. Boom. Banged them. 50 years, 100 years, boom, boom, uh, like uh, nothing. Uh, off a of uh, word uh, of mouth. Off a of circumstantial. Yeah. You know evidence. what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, just in that percentage, uh, uh, you know, in that, in that form Real right there, in that realm of things, it's like, come on, I'm, like, come on, you can't even play like that. You can't even play like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be, you're going to have to be call spade, 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 man. Man. The I'm defense is saying that he could potentially have a mental illness. They said that after he shot Nipsey, he went and checked himself into a mental he institution. Definitely seen that. Well, he well, tried well, to do that. But well, 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 why that? wouldn't he do it? Yeah, that's we all course. did that. You don't think we done been to jail for them shooters and the first thing we heard is about how the nigga put the peanut butter in his ass and everybody thought about doing that one time. I mean, they get me down for that hot one. I'm going to throw some peanut butter in my ass and, and lick it and, and make them think I'm crazy. Like, yeah. hey, nigga, okay. you ain't crazy. I'm going to say this. You know what I'm life, <laughs> life, life experience. You ain't crazy. Look, look, everybody look, do think I'm going to play that experience. insanity role. I'm going to say this. Life experience. Me, personally, I went to jail for a gun. Wasn't mine, whatever, whatever, but it was it was on me. Yeah. To get the time that I end up getting, I played crazy. Allegedly. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I did the time. I played <laughs> crazy. It don't gotta be allegedly. I did the time. You can't retry me. Yeah, I already did that. I, I did I did that. I played crazy. And because of my mental health, yeah. and I knew what they would do. They're like, oh yeah, he kind of crazy, man. Gonna let him do two years. We're gonna let him do two two soft years in the in the uh, yeah. in the mental institution. So what they're trying to do right now is they want to make sure that this man they they're trying to keep him in for the duration of his life, whatever that is, for the whole time of his lifespan. If it is any way that he can get out, let's say they give him a less time than what the the prosecutors are trying to put up against him. Yeah. 
What happens to him if he gets out and he touches the streets? You, we all know. We ain't going to say. We just, it is what it is. Yeah. It, if could he ever justify this no. to anyone? If somebody put Unless, that, it's, devil's it's, advocate, if somebody put that jacket on you, I know Nip is beloved. Get me. I understand it wholeheartedly. But let's take it out of this yeah. gang politics. Okay, well, if somebody putting that jacket on me, I did what I was supposed to do. I got a question. Was the jacket true or not? That's the way it comes Don't down. matter if it is or not. It does matter. Don't matter if it, it is does, or it not. Does, no, it, you bringing no. them allegations about me being a no. pedo and playing with kids? Yeah. I got to take but, you but, out. But if you're a pedo and it's true, you reap what you sow. But even if it's not true, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Why you felt comfortable enough to tell other niggas because I was that and that came back to me? because you did it. No, I that's know. not. You ain't got no paperwork. Okay. You telling me I did it? Uh, okay. So it's so, so it's a double edged sword. It's like exactly. This. Okay, it's a double edged sword. Cause I get it. Now, if a motherfucker is accusing a motherfucker of telling, and a motherfucker ain't telling, they got all rights to yes. handle it any way yes. they want to handle it. That, 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 that's that's understood. But like he said, if a motherfucker is accusing you, and you know it's a reason why them accusations is out there, you got to clean that up. You don't just clean that up on me. You need to clean that up so a nigga yeah. know me. Cause a nigga, from what I'm hearing. This all this shit is all over YouTube and shit. We don't know. I'm not from them people who exactly. no much really so, on the inside to exactly. even know if he is or ain't or what. However, they moving over there in their own politics. Yeah, they got they got to figure all that out on their own. Yeah, that's what we talking business. about now as far as the the podcast and it was being put out on the internet. Yeah, we've, the even heard, we've even heard stories that that Nipsey never called him a snitch. That he never even said nothing like that to the brother. That he just was saying some like, "Yo, it's crazy over here right now. People saying this about you. You might want to looking be out safe. for him. On some looking out for you shit. You might exactly. want to be straight, bro. Move, make move around. You know what I'm saying? Be careful." Around here, cause niggas ain't you know what I mean. This ain't why you where they you want to be. They not feeling you over here. The homies right don't be up here. You already know this ain't where this ain't the parking lot to be at. You know niggas up here. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? For him to come back like that, if that's how it came, that was even wrong. You know, if a nigga tried to look out, he really for looking you, out for you. You really out of pocket. Yeah, exactly. You really out of pocket. Then it's people that saying it had nothing to do with nobody calling you a snitch. Nothing. It was about just jealousy and hatred. Envious. Nigga just ain't fuck with a nigga and just try to you know just come back and just double back because about some music or a CD ah, and damn, all kind of weird shit. So you never know really so you, you what the story is. Just gonna be. Too yeah. many stories we never know, like we say, because we wasn't there. We not on the inner circle of it's these only people, two people who, know. who know. Yeah, they know, and you feel me, the motherfuckers who was there. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And the people that's a part of that organization yeah, and what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? So we can only speculate. Now we could speak on terms all the way around, though. Like he do say, is it is a thing of like still, nigga, if a motherfucker is a snitch. You reap what you sow. Nigga, and I call you, if you is a snitch, this ain't got nothing to do with this situation. Yeah. If you a snitch and you come to the hood and we tell you, hey, nigga, you a snitch. You better get up out of here, nigga. That's, nigga, all right. We supposed to be already prepared to know we're going exactly. to introduce you anyway. Exactly. Because we already know what it is. Like, nigga, we already told exactly. you he's a snitch. We might as well fuck him up, too. You know what I'm saying? Kick him up out of here. Because we shouldn't see him again. We shouldn't even see you again. We need to make sure you know when you come around here, nigga, this is tough over here. It ain't no you. love. You know what I'm saying? On the hood. So, cause, because we know if we let you walk away, no telling what can happen yeah. on that instance. You know what I'm saying? Because, like you say, if the allegations ain't real, a nigga ain't got nothing but his name to stand on. Yeah. He's exactly. got to come back and, and try to prove their innocence and then do whatever you got to do to stand on whatever you got to stand on. You know, that's this whole street code of. Of snitching and not snitching and and you repping your name, this shit is real. Every that's all you really got in the streets is your name. Do you think the ethics and the morals and how gangs were first curated and brought? Because I think a lot of the times, like I grew up around gangs and I just never was a, a, associated with one. Cause yeah. pops, pops from Damusad, we got uh. Uh, my grandma from East Coast. Yeah. I grew up in Hoover's. Okay. I I pick anyone. I'm damned. Like I, I can't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm beefing damned with my yeah, I'm beefing damned with my rallies. My if I do, like I'm I'm around it all. But I I can say that genuinely I seen I seen the benefits that came with that. Of course, gang banging has its negatives, but. Can can you say what put you into that life? Like, what made you think, like, all right, this is what I feel like I need to do? Okay. You know, I can answer that question. Go ahead. Because I felt like I was damned if I do and damned if I don't. Might as well be with him. Like, meaning like this. I'm going to school, right? You know what I'm saying? Middle school or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, where you from? And I, I don't, I don't but bang. But this why I stay. I don't bang. You still fuck me up anyway. Yeah. I fight, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fight, but I still get fucked up. Come back the next day, two days later, whatever. Hey, where you from? Oh, man, no, nah, you, you be with, you fuck me. Okay, exactly. you know what? I'm finna give y'all a reason, and it's finna get ugly now. I feel that. So I might, well, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. I feel so that. So why not? Yeah. You fucking me up for it anyway. And then also. And I'm gonna hang with these niggas yeah. too. Yeah, I'm still also, gonna be with them. And then I'm gonna say, then also, even in our 
sense of things. We got to think we're in our 30s now. Niggas starting banging, 11, 12 years old. We kids. We all exactly. starting at the same time. We all just coming into this like we kids. We trying to figure this this whole street life, all this shit out. We impressionable. Life in general. We, life in general. Like, nigga, okay, mama. We you banging, I'm banging. We banging. We all putting each other on. We getting put on the same day. You two get put on the day. Us two get put yeah. on the wall. Us poo. Now we a gang. We, we, we a part of it. It's 10 of us now that just now we the new niggas from the set. It's 30 of us that done came together at 11 exactly. years old and we putting this shit on like we yo, we ain't some niggas that's 18 19 that's like oh yeah, gang banging gone, look cool yeah. gang banging look cool like nah nigga we some kids doing this shit like nigga, we don't even know what the fuck we doing like we imagine you got an 11 year old 12 year old son imagine yeah. him coming out he got a gun on him and he still how to sell dope all of us you know what i'm saying like nigga that's the mind friends where yeah. we was at it's people that's living that's like that we was living. you know what i'm saying like we already was in that we already accepting jail and death and all kind of wild shit that probably wasn't normal like it was very naive but parents ain't condoning it. Some people's parents was. Some people's parents probably was banging and accepting it out of our crew. Then it was some people whose parents was banging and they was trying to keep their sons. We had homies who daddies was from the hood, but they high from them when they hanging yeah. out with their daddy. Like, what the fuck you yeah. doing out here? And he got a high to, like, hold on, we'll be uh -huh. come kick it with us later on. Like, nigga, my pops don't want me out here because he know what's up. You dig what I'm saying? Then we got niggas like us who probably like, nigga, can't really show minds. And they got good jobs and I didn't want to see this, but when we out, they know what it is. It's too yeah. late now. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. we already in it. So I think, like he said, it was a damn if you damn, you, damn if you don't think, but it was also like, we was just learning this shit, like, yeah. on the fly, too. Like, we didn't really. It's like we ain't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we just like, okay. We didn't have no full understanding. It's like, nigga, on the hood. Like, I grew up, I live in this hood. These niggas, we cripping. Like, fuck it. We nutty block crip. Put us on. Boom, we with this now. We we don't get along with who them. All right, fuck it. It's what it is. We don't even, we can't even fully grasp or even give yeah. you no know, real answers at that time. Now, looking back, you could be, now I could be able to give knowledge to a kid coming up. Exactly. Like, nah, this ain't it. I, exactly. I, like the movie. I get exactly what you're saying, though. It's like, you don't get the magnitude of the decision that you're making at the time at the because time. I'm just with my boys and this the people I hang with Come anyway. We exactly. outside with each other. We, we grew up with each it. other. We run it, the streets with each other. And like you said, even though I almost got put in, uh, like, I almost just, like, they almost put the jacket on me just because they, where you from? Like, I ain't from nowhere, but I stay over here. Oh, that's where the Hoovers be at, huh? Yep. And then enough of that, like, they already, oh, and you hang with them little niggas, they from Hoover too? Like, exactly. you all, you got to do it. Like you said, yep. at some point, if I would not, I end up, thank God I went to foster home. Yeah. For some time and i got took out of that and i went to a whole different i i, I went to inglewood yeah. i was running from the uh police they had a warrant for me and everything ran from them and if i wouldn't have probably would i'd be a different person sitting in front of y'all right exactly. now exactly yeah. so because i definitely like, get I'm that damned if i do i'm damned if i do and the camaraderie that come with that because like, who, who want to get fucked up or jumped every day for nothing basically yeah you get what i'm saying because you fucking because i keep telling you i'm not nigga you want to go ask my mama <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> like y'all keep fucking me. I'm not running though. I'm fighting this shit. I feel that. But it's like, goddamn. You know what? Okay, yeah, I am. You know what? Now I'm sliding on y'all. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm coming through. Now. Yeah. And that's yeah. a that's a West Coast thing, man. We made an imprint yeah. on the world with that. But yeah. just like being on the West, we always want to champion stuff that's yeah. happening on the West over here. Yeah. We did speak about the Marathon Collective. Want to yeah. say that one more time because yeah. we want y'all to go Shout out. Shout out to the Marathon man. Collective the marathon. Grand Opening Saturday. Saturday. Do that. This Saturday, man. June the eighteenth. June eighteenth. Pull up. Come on, day before Father's Day, man. Let's go yeah. support Nip, man. Hey, also, West Side Father's Boogie, Day, though. Sure. Let's also give it up to West Side Boogie, yeah. man, because he dropping his new album. Man, that's shout out to saying West More Side Black Boogie. Superheroes, man. This that's Friday. That's a dope name. That's coming out Friday, June yeah. 17th. So before we go to the Marathon Collective, go buy let's, that. Let's get that album from Play West Side it on Boogie. Your way. Play it on your <laughs> way. And you know what I mean? Into the way, and we supporting both of them. You know what I'm saying? He got Snoop on there, man. He got Touchdown. He got Smee. I mean, he got a lot of people on that thing, man. man you know he what working. Saying? He working. He working, man. I and like he that. was just on No Jumper and West Side Boogie. He been out for a minute, man, and he been keeping himself relevant. He definitely, and he yeah. makes exactly. some dope music. Like he yeah. even got a good personality to himself. Like yeah. he a funny dude. Yeah, and, salute and, West Side Boogie. It's man. dope being able to. To still let that part of your persona come yeah, off yeah, and then we yeah. hear that music yeah. and be like damn no, he's and lying. i think that's what this show is did for you yeah, like yeah. It, it allowed a lot of people like damn get you really funny yeah, as hell yeah, like he really a down to earth yeah, dude but when you get on that stage the professionalism yeah. is you standing across from that other person yep. and yeah. talking to him like you yep. can't stand him yep. and that's then get off fact. like yeah bro like yeah we cool like yep. where we going yep. to hang out that's at but i think that that's the part when you can let people see that you're multi-layered yeah most that's definitely. dope that's fine that's it's more to me than just this they get a piece of you yep so that's what's happening in the west coast 
the Marathon Collective, West Side Boogie is dropping, man. Let's also get into some of this black excellence yeah. because we always want to highlight that, you know what I'm saying, on the No Studio and Podcast. And in this segment of black excellence, Blueface and Nick Young is going down. <laughs> It's going you down. Know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's boxing. going down. Celebrity boxing. Man, who you got? <laughs> Real quick, Nick Young. Blueface, Blueface Nick won Young, before. Swaggy P. I got Swaggy P. I got Blueface, man. Mm, I seen Blueface I in the ring Blue already. Blue. He already won and oh. Okay, but this is what I'm saying, though. But who more athletic? Who been in the gym or who really Hey, got you see what happened to Nate Robinson? We see what happened when them NBA dudes get in that ring. That mm-hmm. was, that's Nate, though. But, we see, I, but he was Nate. athletic as hell. No, but, but, but he was he's too little. I'm keeping it real. But uh, hey, uh, Nate was too little. Swaggy bro. P looked little okay, too. He okay. tall, but Perfect he thin example. as hell. How tall? How tall is Nate Robinson? Nate fine on. Okay, how tall was probably Jake? Paul? Shorter than that. Jake Paul probably like six two. Bruh, come on. If you six two, it's hey, I done knocked out a six four nigga, and I'm I, five I, I, seven. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, okay. Hell me but nothing. Jake Paul is experienced a boxing. little bit more, but he's a world class athlete. Like okay, he's an class, NBA. Okay, okay, okay. It goes back to Mayweather and um and um, Connor and Connor ten rounds. But that's my point though. <laughs> Connor still ain't got no chance, bro. But he for him to be able to stay the best boxer we've ever seen in our generation. I get that. He lasted as an MMA fighter, and his hands is not. The best but you thing know what that I he do. I feel it was about money. And it, he, it absolutely and, you know, was. That's what I mean. And he allowed him to last that long. I think. He, I, 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 so you. you I think a little bit of both. If they told Mayweather, look, Mayweather, you go in there and knock him out or put him down in the second round, we're gonna give you an extra hundred million. He would have been down. No, he could. But Floyd don't <laughs> got that punch of power. We no, know I'm Floyd ain't got that. that punch they would have stopped the fight then. <laughs> no, same way. Nah, he, he ain't putting it down. Have, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, that's a good point because I feel I feel like what you're saying is Mayweather like it made more money to keep the fight going. Yeah, the last long to keep to keep people watching. Exactly. The you gotta understand, Conor McGregor been getting kneed in the head, elbowed in the head, kicked in the head. We're not talking about somebody that has not gotten contact. Floyd got marshmallows for pun- uh, punches right now, man. Let him hit we, you. We'll I see, will. I'll fight see, Floyd. See how marshmallows I'll, they I'll fight Floyd. Gonna put your ass I'll fight down. Floyd. I'll <laughs> fight Floyd. Greg versus Floyd. We I'll set it up. Boy. We set it up. So, Floyd, let's so, get so, it. Floyd, Floyd been looking for some new exhibitioners. We got Craig, no studio. On. Go I'm to, down. Let's be I'm on down. the undercard of this Nick Young and Blueface. Maybe we could get that going. For sure. Exactly. Let's also talk about Blueface. He got the restaurant. Shout out for to Blueface, sure. man. That's, That's black dope. excellence. That's you know dope. what I'm he saying? We got the Blue Girls Club. We got the Blue Girls Club going down. Y'all make sure that that's for black sure. excellence. For sure. He, he got, got Christian Rock even on hey. Deuce TV doing her thing. For sure. Without the two. Without the two. You feel me? She been blowing up. So shout out Blueface, man. He out here going viral, man. He got a restaurant. He got his own show. You know what I mean? And he he putting people on, man. Speaking of more black excellence, we got our own black excellence with the No Studio and Black Business Job Fair Expo. We got it loaded. And when is that? Second. Say it again. July the second, twelve p.m. Right before the fourth. We gonna have jumpers for the kids. Uh huh. We gonna have celebrity helicopter rides, man. Yep. We can go around the whole city of Compton and back in a helicopter. If you ain't never been in a helicopter before, you can come there and get exactly. that for a small yeah, fee. For a small and don't be surprised fee. if a kid flying. We gonna have food. <laughs> we gonna have food, games, live performances. Okay. Yes. We got about eight live performances. I seen a few from, of them from, names, you know man. What I'm saying from artists all from Compton, watch Long Beach, L.A. Local artists that been doing their thing. We got R&B singers. We got we got rappers. We got for it all. For sure. Cool. For sure. We got on-site job interviews. Where you can get interviewed for a job on site and hire. You might can make the job. Hired right? with a job. Facts. So if you need a job, you need to be there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the place to be on July 2nd. It's really nowhere else to be. They think that we just sitting up and keep promoting this for nothing. Oh, man. I, I, hope, th- I hope I don't see y'all there. <laughs> so on July 3rd, you could be hearing about it. Exactly. And be upset. Damn, and be upset. I missed it. Come what on. Day, what day it is? July again? the 2nd, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Man, you you don't want to miss this. I'm telling you. We're going to have no studio and clothing in the building. We're Come talking on. EFG Collective Co. I'm talking, I'm hearing Butchie's Barbecue going to be in Oh, the yeah, that's Come fine. Meeks Toy Land. I okay. Mean, so many uh, vendors that is already. I mean, it, 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 the in, wife man. even popping out with the cupcakes. We're talking about Cassie's, Cassie's cakes cup, out there. Cassie's coming through. Come on. We need Cassie's cakes. Come on. This is what we're doing. Gotti got bundles with me. Y'all better stop playing, man. Man, we got so much going on, man, up in this building. Man, shout out to all the vendors. Too many to name sure, right now because sure. there's so many that's that's already piling in to say they're gonna be in the building, and we can't we can't thank y'all enough for got being the a liquor part out of there it. too. We gonna that's definitely uh, have <laughs> flyers with for all sure. the vendors' names on there bar. for the people to know who the vendors are for every uh, participant to know who every, each and every vendors are. Stay tuned to the No Studio Network Instagram and the Geechee Gotti Instagram, Craig's Instagram, everybody's Instagram because we will be 
posting all the vendors post, and all the post, performers post. within this week and the following weeks to let y'all know who's all a for part sure, of this, man. For sure, for sure. July the 2nd, it is going down. Come yes. out, don't miss it. If y'all see it, repost it. If you see somebody else repost it, you repost, they repost again. We are trying to exactly. have as many people as we can come out to these. And what hey, day is that, Craig? That's July 2nd, okay. I heard. Okay. And that's coming up. Before you know what it's going to be here. That's Come out fast, and celebrate. Man. We're talking like two weeks away, man. Yeah. Need to hurry up and get there, man. July Nine 2nd. days in the wake up. Come on, man. July <laughs> 2nd, man. July 2nd is going down. Y'all know what the hell is going on, man. It is what it is. Anybody got anything else to shout out before we get up out of here? Man, just shout out to everybody watching and everybody with the support, man. Shout out to Caffeine. Shout out to Geechee Gotti. Shout out to everybody behind the scenes, everybody, man. No studio and network. For sure, for sure. It's a team behind this, man. And like you said, it's not just us in front of this camera. It's a lot of work going to this show. It's a lot of work going to this filming for this lighting, for everything to look the way it do for us to present this to you guys. Just show the support by liking. The pipes, the props y'all give us the time that y'all spend with us. We hella appreciate that, man. That's dope. Continue doing that. We're going to continue to be great for y'all. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Geechee Gotti. I want to shout out Caffeine. I want to shout out Roy your day. For sure. Shout out Craig. Shout out my brother L.I. the mayor for pulling up and holding us down today, man. Shout out the whole No Studio and team, everybody behind the scenes, man, that helps put this together, man. Y'all are highly, highly, highly appreciated, man. Want to keep this going. We will be back tomorrow. Yeah, back to back. Yes, Thursday, we will be back just like we always is. Y'all will see us Thursday. Pull up tomorrow and check us out. We will be here. You don't want to miss it, man. And if you ain't tuned into this podcast, then use a bitch. Blah. Guns, 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 all I rap about. Guns. Yeah, little bitch, I hear it out. Blah. Clear it out, we ain't fighting unless we in jail. Blah. How much gun smoke can you inhale? Blah. 